That'll be fine. Let's just go for it. Believe. Believe that we can survive the hot drop, because when I tested this earlier, spawning situation not great. Any deaths so far? Well, let's see about that, kitty. Because we are in, and there is immediately a horde in our face, and a screamer is there somewhere. And... Yes, we have our full community. Right. Screamer has got to go. I suppose this is... Right, you. No. Yes. Thankfully it didn't get too many screams off, but... We still do have a fat ass on the way, and all of the previous fat asses bloating is... Getting in the way. Come on, everyone. Fight like your lives depend on it. They do. Dark goes going for it with his rusty screwdriver. And I am already dying. This is our home. Oh. And then when I get this done, we can actually have introductions, right? Ah. Okay, so. Lesson learnt there. The game will hot drop you if you're surrounded by infestations. Good to know. Let's get people healed up. Hopefully nobody got fully infected. No, Darko should be healed up soon enough and give me enough time to actually uh, tool up, say, Bellcat. Bellcat and Darko joined us because we recruited what was left of the distillers. And I don't really know what to give them. What do I even have to give them? I will give you this pistol. And wow, I am so short on melee weapons. Give his damaged cleaver, I guess. And Von Dougals, you get in there. I'm gonna switch over to Darko, make sure he has a gun as well. Making sure that our characters are armed. It's very important for the defense of the realm. Again, rusty screwdriver and a classy gentleman like you should get the Hunter Viper. That'll do you, surely. Right. I'll get you checked in for healing. And I think... Oh, Leighton does not look good. I might actually just give Leighton the first aid kit. We did find one, right? Ooh, he's gotten better at shooting. There we go. Weapon handling for you. I'll make sure nobody else is fully leveled on something like Von Dougal's. Who should be a... Hmm... Dodging and climbing are quicker and cost less stamina with a flying strike, drop kick, and power hit. Be a powerhouse. Professor Layton could be our hero. He's a warlord type. That's all about... Well, it's actually one of the weakest ones, in my opinion. Okay, so who have we brought in? We brought in Darko. They built a PC once, and they're always vigilant and uncomfortable at parties. Just affects the skills that they have, and they have no quirky skill at the end, so they're very malleable. Bellcat has law, one of the most useless skills in the game. They do yoga, they're nosy, just like Leighton. Maybe they'll get on like a house on fire. And they're a germaphobe. Okay, right. Why is the combat music still playing? Ugh, it doesn't help that we have a feral right there, and another horde on the way. Yeesh. Right, you know what? I will play as Leighton and try and get him healed up enough to actually do something. Because I do want to clear out infestations. So Leighton, you are going to chug a bottle of painkillers. And we're going to use a first aid kit to fix your fractured bits. It didn't even fully work, but that's okay. A true gentleman with his... You can drop the PPK, just use the AR, I think. And we are going to clear that infestation. Yeah. We're gonna have a silenced weapon, see if that will work out for us. Look at this, 
infesting horde is already on its way. And there's another horde shambling its way. We really got to take care of these infestations, but they, they spawn so quickly. What I need to do is take out the awakened play carts. There are two of them. I'm surprised there's not more given the sheer number of them. Oh, going to an existing infestation. So I reckon the infestation numbers go up and then they spread to these ones that want to... Uh, that want to... Blah, 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 do sieges on us. Is that the horde? Well, it's a horde. Hey, I've got some news for you. It's just a wandering one. Right. I believe all you need to do to end an infestation is take out the screamer. That's what I've been getting out of everything. There's a feral nearby, isn't there? I better keep a track on you. So if I could go around and take care of these infestations by just sniping the screamer, that would be great for me. And there's a screamer over there, but that's just part of a wandering horde, I think. There's actually two screamers there, man. Uh, three screamers, jeez. An unpleasant situation. I'd rather be getting resources for my base so that I can actually have a lookout tower. Gosh, would I like a lookout tower. But a true gentleman defends his home. Threats within and out with. I got a fair few bolts, but I need to find that screamer. He's the one we need to pop. In fact, that's him right there, I think. There we go. It's actually surprisingly easy to clear out. Very surprising, even. I'm gonna take these back to base. If it's that easy, then it should be quite trivial to clear these out. And clear them out I shall. Because I am not happy with the dangerous situation around our base. I need to clear it out so we're not under constant threat. This is a wandering horde of nothing but screamers. Well, Leighton, get to work. You are silent when you dodge whilst ducked, but you are not invisible. In fact, you are very visible doing that. But there we go. Take out the conga line of screamers, and it's up to Leighton to clear this area. And then Leighton can take a much-deserved break, because he's been working very hard. And it would just be so tragic to lose Leighton. Done so much for the team. Morning, seems to be going well. Oh boy, it was uh, a rough... Wait, what? Zombies are gathering to attack your base. Oh, I haven't seen this before. But, uh, but I'm, I'm trying to... Oh, right, here here's one of the uh, the siege hordes. There's... Is that a juggernaut? Oh, I don't like that. If it is... No, it's just a regular fat ass. Is that a fast-moving screamer? I've never seen a screamer run before. Well, hopefully they won't be following you now, since you're deed, but you are a different story. Oh god, no. Last thing I need is more injury on poor Leighton. Leighton, our home is uh, getting sieged. No. No. I think they... The horde is still after us here, aren't they? Okay, well, I hope everyone's ready to defend our home. Where's that screamer? Here, a feral. Right, hopefully that'll lighten the load that attacks us, but I did just make a whole bunch of noise. <laughs> Alright, everyone, come on now. Siege o'clock. Some of these guys are armored, which makes them a bit tougher to kill. Oh, that's just what we needed. 
There are more of them. Where, though? I heard them, but I didn't see them on the mini-map. And if they keep screaming, there's just endless zombies that come pouring on in. Oh boy, that's some serious fighting. Where the hell are the streamers? Right, one's right out front. Get it. All that bloater bile is a real pain. Jeez, poor Layton. Base is gonna be okay. It seems to be pouring out with zombies. Right, start bandaging yourself up, Leighton. You need it. See it for all the uh, the bloater bile, and I can't get close to it. Too dangerous. That was my last shot. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait. Right. Latent. Switch out. Crossbow's not great for siege, but it's something. There it is. Someone beat me to the kill. Because. <laughs> Racker with his gun. Yeah, I gather that. Is that a screamer there? I think it is. Hey, these sieges are a bit meatier than before. I like it. I don't know if that's because of the mod or because of the update. Probably a bit of both. It's a lot better than the old siege system, but the sheer number of zombies, I feel that's more down to the mod, though. Alright, but it looks like that uh, cleared out the siege places. They got their siege done and that was that. Right, is anybody really horribly mangled? Everyone's infected. Uh, right. I'd like to play as Darko to start leveling off a bit so he can go in and uh, get healed up. True gentleman keeps his weapon in good nick. So, can we get some bullets for you? I've just loaded my last magazine. Damn. Okay, well, that, that, that ammo did not last. Um, and, um, and, um. Oh, one of the problems is our new our new bloods don't actually have any backpacks. Do I have any backpacks? I hope nothing hard that. I do not. Okay, well they're gonna have to make do with sharing, teamwork and dream work and all that. Boomer, how are you feeling? Good at shooting, at least. Become a gunslinger. Our base is still tranquil and very quiet, which is excellent. Our mood is low. Oh, man, because food is low. Food makes the mood. Okay, okay. What, what are we going to do? We've got Life of Luxury, and we're going to grab some luxury goods from a utility shed. Also, there's a screamer right outside the base. Be gone. Last thing I need is even more of that. Right. Uh, I know you love that Prepper AK, but I want you to take the 2-2 rifle when you're going out, please. Uh, actually, maybe don't even do that. Maybe just take the crossbow. And I'm getting to the point where I could at least carry one energy drink, just in case things go Pete Tong when I'm out. Now... Talk to Von Dougal about his concerns, and then go to- Oh, the utility shed's miles away. I don't want to do that. Well, I don't want- Yeah, actually, I don't have the fuel for a job like that. 
Maybe Von Dougals can talk some sense into us. We've got more immediate press and concerns. You know you're right, it's too big of a risk. And Belcat, who just joined, is already frustrated and threatening to leave. I'm gonna rest up a bit. We'll get you rested up. We need to get some food. Really badly. I'm gonna go and check out that corn farm, grab some resources, and then I'm thinking about making a go for that play cart. That play cart is the reason there keeps being uh, more zombies spawning around here. Yeah, so clear out the corn farm, take out that play cart if we can. Oh man, L Boomer's life will be in horrible jeopardy for this. Do we really want to risk Boomer like that? I'm going to take the Molotovs, the pipe bomb, the soda can, and just try and burn that thing to the ground. And the pipe wrench is going to have to do some damage too. I don't think it's going to work though, this mod definitely makes the play cart stronger. But, got to do what we got to do. Oh yeah, there's not much left of our vehicles, is there? Yeah, but they don't look so good. Oh well. Our influence is pretty good, actually. 2,000 is a lot. How did I get 2,000? I've been doing it. Playing amazingly well is all I can uh, all I can think of. Oh boy, th this, this car is going up in flames if I so much as rush against a zombie. So let's try not to do that. Maybe the Enclave sells a, a toolkit. Toolkits are pretty hard to just keep getting. Eventually you've looted them all. There is a way to craft them, but I'm in no position to be building up my, my home to be able to do that. Okay, folks, you got anything good? They should have guns now. Although you don't look like you have a gun. Dear so. They, don't, they really don't like. They look like they have any equipment at all. I could have sworn I gave them weapons. You're still on your feet. I am. Um, okay, they do have guns. It's just because they don't have backpacks. That sounds about right. Mm hmm. Hmm. They have a lot, do you? They have a lot that I'd be interested in. Big Hank rifle. It's almost worth it for the rounds. You know what, it's relatively cheap. I'm going to take your big Hank rifle. Let's see. I think I'll leave the car here for now. I'm going to take care of that infestation as long as it doesn't have a feral. It has a feral, but I'm going to go for it anyway. I've been thinking. Could zombies really be evolving? All these bloaters and ferals. Just... Darwin doing his thing, right? Or is it something else? I don't remember that guy's name, but he's just full of conspiracy theories. Not helpful when we're just trying to survive here, chum. Right, the feral's the problem here. And the darkness. Darkness means I can't even see where the screamer is until I get too close, and if I get close, that feral's gonna have his way with me. Is that the... No, that's a regular zombie. I thought it might have been a... Uh, a screamer. So it gets really dark really fast in, uh, in this world. I wonder if it's a regular feral or a plague feral. If it's a regular feral, just a, a well-placed shot will deal with it. It is. And it does. Oh, Christ. Get off of me. Alright. Not bad. That auto snap is 
a little bothersome. It might be alright, might be good for snapping onto enemies that I'm not aware are there. Oh, oh come on, finally, Professor Layton's excessive amounts of um, pain have been dealt with. Thank you, Boomer. A lot of zombies here, though. Uh, I'm going to tell them to come here. Our friends can show us what they're made of with those weapons. Hey, Zingus, go and do something. Whilst I unhelpfully tell them to come here. Speaking of unhelpful, could you land a shot? Oh, that, that's the Soviet PP something, isn't it? I was wondering why what something that looked like an AA-12 was going pe -pe 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 -pe. Alright, Von Dougal's is just about good. I can get late and cured up soon. And I'm gonna claim what's rightfully mine. Oh, oh jeez, still a bunch of zombies here. With that, all of the... <laughs> Who took a crossbow? Okay, there we go. I put a shout out for anyone that was uh, submitting a custom character. You can also submit a loadout. And where possible, I will give that loadout to your character. Although if you ask for extremely powerful and expensive guns, I might rein you in a bit, depending on who you're in an enclave with. Depending on how the enclaves go, I might need considerably more people to submit characters. This hasn't hit YouTube yet, but I will probably post the instructions up on the first YouTube video, so that scrubs watching can get themselves involved. Well, that's gone. There we go. Get my bolt back. Know that that's cleared out. And a big part of clearing this was being able to grab what's inside because we are hungry. And my god, there are hordes everywhere. Hordes and freaks. It is not a good place to be. Bloater hordes. Ugh. been a bit of a waste of bolts, but I don't care so much about standard no bolts, I'm here. far more keen on light bolts. Right, should be food and or ammunition. I'm interested in the food far more than the ammo at this point, because we've got a hungry batch of survivors. Well, there's those chemicals I was after a long time ago, and... Hmm. Oh, they want me. More for any more. An infestation horde is already on the move again. Where? Oh, right. I would love... Oh, he wants materials. I don't want to give you materials. Materials are... Something I seriously need. And don't have to give. Okay, I'm hoping for a rucksack here. Nothing. Wow. Could be two rucksacks, we get zero. 
Mysterious Wandering Trader is a way to get rare skill books, but that's hardly a priority right now. Okay, I guess I'm going to make a head start on that heart. You know, I could bring one of these folks to help me with that. Hello, my friend. I don't know who holds what weapon. As I live and breathe. Yeah, would you mind following me and helping me deal with this play cart? Come with me. Come with me if you don't want to live. That's gonna help me where I'm going. What was that other thing that just popped up? Friend in need. Oh, okay. Well, that, that doesn't sound like the kind of thing I'd be helping out with. Leighton? Oh, I thought Leighton needed treatment, but no. Alright, we're gonna deal with a play cart. It's pretty close by. I shouldn't need the car with me. Shouldn't. Doesn't mean don't. Still, I'd still probably just keep it here. It's not that long a run back. I'm fully recovered and feeling great. Velcat, that's not. <laughs> you don't sound convincing when you say that. She always sounds sarcastic. And you're just going to run right over to it. You're a real piece of work. <laughs> well, these guys are going to have to defend their own home. I, I didn't sign up for that. Jeez, right, those screamers have got to go. Where are they even? Oh, I see them. No, I don't. Those are bloaters. Thank you, big tank rifle. You guys defend your own home, right? This is all your own doing. Oh, I thought the Big Hank rifle was a uh, bolt action, but it's not. Jesus, that's a lot of them. You gotta be careful. If the plague zombies do the tackle and bring you to the ground, they can give you a huge amount of, um, of plague. Sometimes enough to go terminal. And I do not have the resources to... Well, maybe I do by now. I don't feel like I have the resources to deal with terminal plague right now. So Sorellus is the one with the crossbow. You got nothing but hordes inbound. This, uh, this difficulty loves to give hordes, and that's that's a that's a big horde. Jeez, oh, maybe we could just leave Azarak. I'm here to deal with the plague heart, not the endless hordes. Screw, he knows where I am. Oh, he does know where I am. Come on, get in. Let me see if I can't keep this piece of junk still floating. Oh, there's a bloater right there that I'd rather not hit. Right, as a wrap. This is a dangerous mission and it might not work well. Do you even have a gun? Should have given them backpacks, because otherwise you can't see what gun they're holding.
Right, so, in vanilla you could pretty much firebomb these things to death. Even when playing dark side I found that fire was the best answer. Where is... Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Let's see how this does. I don't like using up all of my fire, but... Somewhat needs must. Drop and roll. As a rat, you want to be my cover here. You're not covering much. Okay, stop, drop and roll. I think he's going to make it. Okay, well, I used all my throwables there, and I'm not even sure if it did much. I don't think it did. It'd be okay, isn't it? My car isn't. Well, I feel like that backfired tremendously. I've pretty much lost the cut. Oh, the Juggernaut's the last thing I want the attention of right now. Get the car close-ish to base. Oh, boy. Yeah, man. How do, how do we take care of those uh, plague hearts then? That didn't work very well. Maybe big heavy melee weapon is the answer then, because that was a lot of fire to, to use and lose. Alright, get back your prepper AK, get yourself checked in, and we shall be Darko. We should talk about this in person. We're eating 10 food a day. <laughs> we have 10 food. Also, we have one fewer car. Uh, I can't seem to talk to you, Boomer. Even though you have concerns. At least I have dumped the car out quite close to base. Did, did Azarak die? Azarak most certainly died. Okay. Well, that's what they get for failing to defend themselves against the Plague Heart cronies. Oh, right. Uh, big old Darko has no backpack. Yeah, I wouldn't mind taking that off of Voomer if you're willing to talk to me. But the use infirmary interaction is overwriting the talk to Voomer interaction. Maybe we'll just kick you out of there for a moment. I guess Boomer's just not in the talking mood. I wouldn't be too. She she got messed up there. Boomer. Ah. Well, I, I do not know why, but Boomer just refuses to talk. Something almost poetic about that. But it also means I can't steal Boomer's stuff. And Belcat is once again not happy with the situation. Hello. Uh, you don't have goods for me either. I need someone with a backpack. Hello, my friend. Ah, uh, Professor Layton, you would always share, wouldn't you? Give me that. I'll take those back. And now I don't even know what I'm meant to be doing here. Truth be told, I guess I could take the gun and some well the crossbow and some bolts. Where are the crossbow bolts? 
I bet Boomer still has a crossbow bolts and I can't seem to talk to her. Uh, oh well, I'll grab those later. Ooh, you're right, Jebediah, I am not having a great day in this game. What's our mission here, anyway? I'm sorely tempted to set up a second food outpost. If I grab the corn farm, I would get more food, and I'd make a larger safe area around here, which could be useful. Just because food is such a pressing issue right now. Yeah, I think I will. I, I just simply need the food more than anything else. Go and see what the loners have to offer. I think this is just a case of going and trading with our friends. And that's good, since that's kind of what I need to do. I do not want to have to give over a bag of uh, building materials, but I don't have much of a choice. Well, we're gonna keep building. We're gonna need more materials. Hopefully this doesn't make people unhappy because materials low. Well, oddly enough, no. But we do need food or else people are gonna get incredibly sad and... Bellcat is already threatening to leave because she's frustrated. Ugh. Oh, and another, another freaking infestation has popped up. Okay, okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, let's go and do a bit of trading to get that mission done. Plenty of stuff to trade away, at least. And I think I need a bit of fuel for our car. Bed and breakfast is not a terrible uh, bonus to get from these guys, but it's also not a good one. Refuel the Vagabond and let's make a go at it. The Vagabond isn't quite on fire, but it's not far off of it. It doesn't have a lot of health. Maybe we should clear out this infestation thing first as well. I don't think you're the screamer from it, you're just some some screamer. Car door a day keeps the zombies at bay. I see the screamer in there, that doesn't mean that he's not there. And it's not you either, but I'd rather you were dead. You just gotta aggro the bloater a bit, he'll run at you, and after about five seconds he'll fall over and die. Which is good for everyone involved. <laughs> and these guys are asking me, where's Azawak? We left him with you, didn't we? Don't be a stranger. Um, who am I meant to be talking to here? Probably nobody until we... Oh, jeez, that's what I was talking about. That was the takedown with the plague. Ow. I only have one bullet. Better save it myself. I gotta steer clear of those plague zombies or I won't get better. Hello, my friend. I was trying to deal with you. Here's your rucksack of materials. Hi. 110 influence, they're not even enough to pay for what I had to do Let's there. Stock turkey. Cool. Sounds good. I got nothing worth selling me. And wait, I'm meant to go and see the loners. Oh, that's another group over there. A new group. Okay, well that, that might even be better. But I swear I get better prices from you guys. So I'm going to sell the bulk of what I have to you. And then go and trade with the others. Oh, I hope these loner guys have, um, well, there's a lot of things I hope they have. Guns, for one, because they're right next to a plague heart. But if they're, if they're friendly with me, that could be useful in the future. The not-too-distant future, where I finally take care of that plague heart. Because that's a plague heart that keeps sending me all these bleeding infestations. Uh, also, while I'm here, let's grab this. I need the food so badly. I just hope it doesn't get reinvested, but again, we have some friends nearby to help with that. Now, just keep quiet, and we should be able to take it, no problem. Okay, get up!
Thank you. Right, you wouldn't have to have any medicine, would you? Right, see that? I, I am buying that and using that. You'd never normally see me buy a bandage, but uh, wow. Darko is not having a good initiation with the team here. The normal ones are not stealthier. They, they let out this huge roar constantly. But for some reason this mod is making the non-plague ferals not do their noises very often. Well, that, that, is, that is some added difficulty, those silent ferals. You don't know they're there until they're on you. And as we can see, Darko is not made for running fast or far. Take the stuff I left behind here, if you don't mind. And... There we go. Could even upgrade the outposts. Oh, but it costs uh, cost stuff. There we go, Bellcat's no longer frustrated, probably because we've got the extra food income. Yeah, Ooh, passive scouting. I didn't know we could get that. And you can have defenses. Destroy nearby zombies for an hour and a half, cost fuel. And... Ooh, well, these are new. Attracts infesting hordes and nearby infestation, so you probably combine these two to destroy them quite a lot. Anyway, point is, uh, we're now only consuming five food per day because we're somehow gathering corn from the fields, despite it all being infested with zombies. Don't break your disc. Okay, good. Fat man can fall slightly more elegantly than Leighton. Dish of stuff I don't really need. Could I have some bullets in my gun, please? I want to be able to defend myself next time I get jumped by silent ferals. There we go, six whole rounds. But hey, this gun can zoom by a tiny amount. Okay, okay, let's, let's actually get this mission done. And I really hope they sell a toolkit. Cars are important, maintaining cars is important. It, it might be reasonable that you saw me running over a lot of zombies last episode and think, oh, okay, well, I guess cars are just super powerful. And they are against a horde as long as that horde doesn't have a bloater in it. Um, problem is, those cars will break down and those toolkits will run out. <laughs> Can't afford any re any more plague damage, or else we're going terminal here. I hope these guys have guns and stuff. Jeez, oh, easy now, easy now. I don't even have a melee weapon on this guy. I think he's just got his uh, rusty, trusty screwdriver, and that's it. Hey, I know we're asking a lot, but times are tough. Okay, uh, what, what's our job here? Uh, trade for a resource pack. Let's talk turkey. Sure. Ooh, oh god, medicine's not a great thing to buy, but uh, sure, if it makes us some friends. Well, is that a good idea? Oh, god. Of course, Bellcat's not happy with us trading. So these guys, they charge a lot, Hello but there. they have goods, and I'd rather just have some goods, please. Let's talk turkey. Of course. They got an exterminator twenty-two. I got another bandage, but man, their prices really are high. A bolt crafter is really good, but I don't want to be throwing my money away right now. I just wish they had other things. <laughs> this isn't good stuff. The main benefit for me is that there's a another survivor group near this play cart that I need to deal with. Ah, well, nobody said this would be easy. I don't want to sell them that dented can of beer at such a low rate. It is kind of tempting to just use the mines option here and... Can I do that from here? It costs parts, fuel, and... 
weapon stuff, but it would create a large safe area around here, wouldn't it? I wonder if you actually see the mines in action. I'm curious enough to see it, so let's go for a Peddler's Barbecue and start putting incendiary mines around the place. Don't know how that's going to work. What did it say it does? Set up explosive industry devices protect the outpost. Hmm. No, I've not got enough backpacks yet. Sure wish I did. These guys have a dented beer just to give myself a bit of space. I don't actually know if you get better prices for selling to Glad allied to folks or not. I haven't piece. done a... I haven't Let's done a check, Why not? or if I have, I've forgotten. There you go. Smashy, smashy. Oh, they heard that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 no! No! Get off me! Oh! Gotta get back to base. Oh bollocks! I feel like hell. Uh, the blood well, you definitely need to get home now, Darko. Man. So Darko's gone terminal. I might be able to fix him back home, but I need to get him checked in. I've gone and done it now. Ooh, ooh, was that a beetle mallet? It was a beetle mallet. Come on, fat guy coming through. Let's get home without driving into uh, any similarly fat guys who are going to cause too much damage. Where am I going again? Probably this way. Well, now that is cool. That has suddenly put a use for fuel and fire uh, ammo. Okay, so that makes your safe areas very safe to come back to, but there's a running cost to it. Awesome. I'm gonna go full Vietnam here. Alright. It's a good thing you got those meds, because we're gonna need those meds to fix you up, man. For now, please deposit all your goods away because other people need that. Like yeah, Von D, nobody does. And Bellcat, you do nothing but complain, so let's play as you. With your gun and your breaking cleaver. I think we're going to give you the beetle mallet and force you to go and deal with the play cart a bit. I want that play cart gone, it does nothing but infest the area. Which uh, I do not like. How are you feeling, buddy? I'm really sick, pal. I don't suppose you got any cure. We actually might. We have picked up a fair few plague samples, and well, would you look at that? I hate to spend this on you, since freak you just zombies. joined us. I hate freak zombies. This plague is worse than the zombies. At least I know how to fight them. go. Let's not be a nitro. Let's get the plague administered in good time. I'm really sick, pal. I don't suppose you got any cure. Actually, don't I have cure? I'm really sick, pal. I don't suppose you ah, got here any we go. cure. Euthanize. No, no, no. Okay. Come on. I know you just I joined, but 
It was kind of my fault that you, uh, you got plagued to begin with. Alright, tons of fun. Buffets are the only cure. Now get up. Right. There's a group called the Panicked Escapees that have joined. We could drop by and say hi to them. And we probably should. I, I need people to trade with. I need to do the rounds and see if anybody has toolkits or other stuff we can put to use. I don't have a lot of stuff to sell. Or a lot of stuff that I'm willing to sell. I do not like that. Oh, right, right, there's still that cleaver there. And I desperately need building supplies. Tell you what, I'm actually going to put a shout out for building supplies. Find... Hmm? Where's building? There it is, Will materials. Will someone ask our neighbors about good places to search? You just get on the radio and call and see if anybody knows of places that might have building materials. It always will spawn a backpack for you. You just don't know where it is. It could be anywhere on the map. Fortunately for us, it's incredibly close. I will do that, but not just yet. We're going to meet our new friends first. You know, I bet you could do outpost defense near your base, and the napalm would keep you safe from horde attacks. It would probably be a big waste of a uh, an outpost unless you're next to a useful outpost that does something like food or... Well, to be honest, food is just about the only useful outpost. On lethal mode, your food consumption is doubled, but the food that you get from outposts is doubled to compensate. Alright guys, what do you have to trade? Kruzak, talk to me. I don't. Thank you, Eno. I will come inside. And put this new mallet to use. Oh, I like this. It is, in my opinion, the best heavy weapon, the beetle mallet, and I'm pretty happy to have gotten it. Very heavy though. Very tiring to use. When you use oversized weapons like this, when you do that big 360 spin to grounded Hello, enemies, friend. you take out nearby enemies as well and knock them over. What do you have for us? What do you have for us? Ugh, nothing but... Oh, they got uh, building materials. That is an instant That's buy. Heavy. Great, that is definitely what I'm after. Yeah, one of the guys in this outpost asked for a grenade launcher, and I decided to give it to them. The loners want a whole new base. Oh god, that's pretty bad. I actually don't want you to move. I like where you are. Uh, why am I stuck? What am I stuck on? Go. Say hi to our new friends over here. New people to meet. I hope it goes well. Might. <laughs> Sometimes does not. As long as they're armed and able to defend themselves, I'm generally happy. Steven. They don't have custom chatter names until I manually put them in, Welcome and I usually do that between over. sessions. So if these uh, groups survive till the end of the session, by next session I will put chatters in. But only if you... We've been on the run for weeks, we have nothing. Could you spare some food? No! Okay, well, I... <laughs> right, I, I think I know these people. These guys are pathetic, aren't they? Desperate. We're not in a position to... Yeah, they keep asking you for stuff. Um, and your people are happier if you don't give them stuff. There are two groups like that where helping them is actually the uh, the worst thing to do. I'm headed for you. 
Right, I'm going over there and I'm scavenging for materials and thankfully we've set up the landmines. So it's going to be a relatively safe place to be. That is cool, but it wasn't cheap. It cost five resources. Three ammo and two fuel, I believe. And it lasts real time, so if you dawdle, you're not making good use of it. Hold on, who are these guys? Oh, I want to trade with you. Uh, but zombies are incoming. Maybe I could just... casually make my way around. I think Fat Miner, Henry of Scallops, Illustrajon, and one other person is here. In this god-awful base. <laughs> There's no doors, no windows, no roof. Why are you here? Oh, hey, I have tea. Let's see what's up for trade, eh? I think I saw a toolkit. And I like toolkits. Sure, I'll just do everything. Hey, Illustra John. John Seven Ferals is what he calls himself these days. One wonders why. There we go, that toolkit. Oh, I sorely need that tour, uh, toolkit. And that's uh, all I'm taking. Probably save the toolkit for my other car, which is blown up. Yeah, toolkits. Mm, lifeblood. I actually want to check out that grey panel building if I can get there, because there might be more building materials. And no kidding, building materials, you pretty much always want and need them. I heard at least a feral. So I'm not getting out of my car until I'm sure it's not coming after me. Knew it! Sure I can handle whatever else is here, just a few zombies. Just a few zombies! few zombies is turning into a few more zombies. Close the door. Oh boy, I'm not alone. Uh-oh, killing these guys is going to wake up a play cart. That's pretty bad. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Please don't wake up the play cart. Uh. Okay, this better have been worth it. Please have some building supplies. Oh my golly gox, could we please not? Here in these zombies, but in plague territory, that never lasts. Usually in this thing. All right, our food is going low again. Hey, not bad. Oh, double good fertilizer as well. Fertilizer can be used for um, for when we do farming on our base, which is a long way away. But at least we're ready for it now. Could be worse. Hellcat just never seems happy. Why? Can you choose your character models and stats? Yes. I've got instructions on how to on the Discord, and if anybody feels generous, they could post it in chat for for people that don't like using it. Which I totally sympathize with. Okay. Damn, which play cart woke up? That one? Ah, oh, jeez, that's so unfortunately remote for me. Uh, actually, I want the I want the goods first. Scavenge for materials first. I'm so glad I heard that feral. I wasn't sure, but I heard something that sounded like a distant feral roar, and I was so certain it was going to. Uh, it was good. Oh, okay, we're at the point where we have Juggernaut Horde. Four Juggernauts in a Wandering Horde. Uh huh. We need bigger guns. And we, we for the love of God, we need a lookout tower. Uh oh. Right, do you have 
the the goods. You might have the goods. But any of these might have the goods. Can we get Vietnam here, please? Oh yeah, that's that's not my base. This is my base. Von Boomer is probably unhappy at the lack of food, so there's another thing I need to get for us. That's pretty heavy. I know it's because of the mallet. They still feel a bit scunnered that I had uh, two rock sacks of food that I left behind here, and they despawned after a while. Ah, oh, but you snooze, you lose. <laughs> right. Infestation horde on the move. From where? It's from there and it's heading south. Okay. Ooh, lots of clay samples here. Thank you, landmines. God, those landmines are powerful. But, again, expensive. Again, it puts me on a timer. Oh yeah, the, the whole morale in the base is miserable due to largely lack of supplies. There's a lot of plague zombies around here and they're using the bushes to cover and there's a horde over there. <sighs> they told me there'd be days like this. Uh oh, uh oh, this is, this is about to escalate. Get down, get down. Keep doing this. <laughs> that sounds so sad. Right, what's it? Yeah, Voomer is unhappy. We need to make Voomer happy, probably by finding some food. We could probably make food in the base. We do have a kitchen. Let me just get into cover here. No, we'd need lots of seeds and ethanol. And it would only make one food, so it's barely worth it. That horde is coming right for me. Exactly. Okay, heading for base. Oh, that is good. That is really good. We did get materials in the first try. Three different places that it could have been. And it was here. Weapon parts, not very useful until we have a workshop. I think that makes three loads of uh, building materials. And that is almost certainly going to be put into Ooh, another infestation or oh, Jesus. It's going to be put into a lookout tower. I really want a lookout tower so we can take care of zombies before they reach the base. And honestly, I probably just want to immediately upgrade it so we can have two gunners constantly looking out for us. I'm going to lure these guys into the landmines. I want to see that in action. Go, Bellcat, go! Oh, crap. Is that a it better not be, and if it is, it better explode. Oh, man. Hey, you looking at me? Yoo-hoo! Oh, that means we could take care of the wandering hordes this way. Kind of. As long as we're ready for them. Fascinating, but I think it only works if you're nearby. Hmm. That's just a guess, but it's probably a pretty good guess. Yeah, this is a great way to get plague samples. Unfortunately, selling plague samples requires a lot of meds as well. But, uh, pretty cool economy. Seems a little too magical. 
if there were actual landmines scattered about. Oh, shouldn't shouldn't be too fussy. Oh, by the way, this stuff I can this deposit too heavy. directly here. I need that food though. I do not want Voomer to just leave in a huff. What do yeah, I do? What do I do? Guessing there's a plague hard not too far away. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? The loners want a whole new base, and I desperately need some food. Value wagon may contain food, but these are finite. Once I once I loot everything, that loot's gone. I could also get in the radio and ask for some food, and I think I will. Is there someone who can radio around for good scavenging spots? Hopefully it's not too far. If it's half the map away, I'm not going to bother. I don't know if I've already looted Value Wagon, which is part of the problem. And my god, there's still a bunch of zombies there. Right, tell you what. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oof. Almost didn't notice that bloke on the road. You know, grey on grey. These guys will ally with me if I clear out a base for them, but the question is what base do they want me to clear out? Hi there. Hopefully nothing unreasonable. Oh, the food scavenging is nearby, and it's potentially that value mart. It probably is the value mart. I didn't search in here, isn't there? Here we go. <laughs> the smallest backpack. I think there is one smaller, but it's... Uh, I think you only get it through modding. There's a four-slotted backpack that they start you off with in Dark Side. Be careful not to overuse this mallet. I uh, I need it for play parts. Let's make a deal here. Sure, oh, they got food. They got a lot of food. I want that food. What have you got for us? Sure, All right. I don't like paying extra for it. Where do you want me to clear out? This is kind of important. Oh, hey, that's convenient. Right, I'm gonna clear out that base for them, and then I'm gonna buy that food off of them at a lower price. That's pretty good. It's actually great. Hopefully everything will come together here for me. Don't you dare! This guy's got some good guns. Anyone recognize that gun there? Alright, back to base we go. Gonna deposit what I have. Oh, where was that infestation horde, by the way? Oh, it's already done in infestation. Right, I've got something resembling a plan. I'm gonna solve our food problem temporarily. Sadly, it's gonna cost us, but everything has a cost in this game. It's just a case of uh, cost benefit analysis in the end. Don't hear any zombies. In plague territory, that never lasts. I still think this value wagon has uh, food in it, but there's a ton of zombies around here. Maybe I can get them to go into. Explodey zone for me, and I'll double back for them. Hello, Plague Bloater. Please die, Plague Bloater. Looks like most of the zombies come in from the street over here, so. Uh, food, materials, 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 backpack, plague samples. Bellcat deserves a rest. Uh, but you're not getting to keep that beetle mallet. I love that beetle mallet. Instead, you get this crappy cleaver. And well done, you found this ultra crappy backpack. You keep the ultra crappy backpack. You check in whilst... Mm... Oh my, Darko's got an amazing uh, super bonus. But he's also horribly mangled. Uh... Oh, 
Bone Dougal's picking you. Why are you so unhappy anyway, uh, Earl? Frustrated, infestation, conflict, noisy. Uh, might be difficult to deal with any of that. Well, let's take our mind off of things with a... You know, actually, a latrine could help. It would boost morale. Maybe we can do both. Latrine in the back and guard tower out front. Yeah, there we go. And hopefully the low building materials won't bother people. We're going to flush the latrine. Maybe that's the problem, right? Earl hasn't uh, done duty in way too long. And if we take care of that, hopefully she'll be fine. I'm also going to put this handmade suppressor on this weapon. It's bolt action, so it never breaks anyway. Unfortunately, it uses rounds that I don't have. Well, at least it's silent. It's a bad way to look at things, isn't it? Um, can I talk to Boomer yet? I want those crossbow bolts. It'll help me qu quietly take out the... Uh, the target. Where are you, Boomer? Hello. Oh, you don't? Where the heck are all of our bolts? I didn't use them. Where'd they go? The X-bolts are in the blown-up car. I thought I emptied that thing. I'll believe you, though. Alright, let's get that clear at the other... Um, the other place so that people can move and I'm going to take their food. Oh, you're right. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Blown up car. Shouldn't we have someone in charge by now? Look, there's a lot of things to do. Quit moaning at me at every opportunity. Hmm. I'll take the car. It's not far, but... You never know when just a gaggle of ferals are on you and then suddenly everything becomes a problem. Oh, boy, we've got two infestations around us now. No wonder they're not happy. Right. Traditionally, it's very easy to take care of these missions because you just need to drag the zombies out I'll of the, the building. Soon. And usually that just involves going near it, going... Hey, zombies, get out! Oh, oh, not feral, not feral. There goes the door. Oh boy! I'm done. Good to go. I hope I can return the favor someday. De nada. There we go. Right, so those guys are going to move over to that building, and then I'm going to buy their food, probably all of their food, just because food is being such a problem for me. Whilst they migrate over, I want to take care of these infestations a bit. Around the back here is usually pretty safe, because the zombies, even if they start following you, they don't have a great way to keep following you past this, although that guy might. Silenced weapon. Completely silenced. Oh, they didn't notice me. Is there another way into here? Infestation horde is there and on the move. Is he? Are they going to my safe house? Ugh. I have a great way of dealing with that. I want that food from my safe house and they're just uh or rather from my outpost. This one's cleared out. Better keep moving. There you are. And there you go. Where's the bloater? Gameplay-wise, it makes sense that the Screamer is the one you need to take out, because Screamers are the infected that draw other infected towards them. I was hoping I could find a bloater, though, because the non... 
the non-screamer special infected drop items. But I don't see the bloater. I want this back though. Yoink. And now I need to clear out the food place. Not much to do all the time. Oh, but I want to. Whoa now, whoa now. Juggy, juggy, juggy. Juggy is bad news. Did they make it in here? They did make it in here. Great. Right, that food. I need it. So, what do you need, friend? Oh, now is not the great time to turn around and tell me you don't have the food anymore. They have one, but they had two before. Right. So, what do you give me the food. Give me a toolkit. Even give me the hatchet. And I love two two rounds. That'll do. Oh, I need those. Right, get the food back to base, and we'll deal with the other infestations, especially the one in our food supply. Is this thing still moving? Oh, okay. <laughs> there was a feral there. He just ran right into my car. And unfortunately, it does a lot of damage to the car, which I now need to fix up. But I just bought a toolkit, so I'm on top of that. I wish we had the lookout tower. I'd be shooting these zombies if we did. I still want that scavenging for food. Got so much to do. Right, scavenge for food, clear out infestations. Start getting to work in the play cart. That's the order of operations here. How is the base building going? It's going. How's Boomer feeling? Utterly hopeless. Too nosy people. You're irritated. Uh, there's a lot making you very unhappy. But there's not a lot I can do for you. You realize that? Well, uh, we can flush the toilet for you, so hopefully you hold out for a wee while longer. Everyone loves a good flushed toilet. Watch the water swirl round and round. Uh, we got 15 food at base, which is not too shabby. Oh boy, you know, I hope Juggernaut gets uh, destroyed by these bombardments. Wow, it does. Boy, these, these things are incredibly powerful. I had no idea. Well, I do now, I guess. Does the mod do anything apart from spawning more zombies? I'm pretty sure the only thing it does is it spawns more hordes, more zombies, and makes the play cards tougher. Because even on lethal mode in vanilla, that that um, that play cart would have been dead by now. That's the amount of fire I plugged into it. Right, let's hope that juggy doesn't get any funny ideas, but I really want. Not the value marked. Pizza. You're right, that was a good blind shot. Right, there we go. I'm loath to use so many arrows, but 
let's just be safe about this. Value Mart has five unsearched containers. And it has zombies inside. Let's just not give them the opportunity to even wake up. Let's also not give you the opportunity to come in here. We'll get up if you approach them. Just trying to get our food. Ooh. I'm never this strapped for resources when I play Lethal. Well, I did also spawn our community with almost nothing, so there's been a lot of time dedicated to actually having anything like close combat weapons. Backpacks. Whoa now! Extra food. Professor Layton, never one to waste what he has. He creates some extra fuel. I mean, he was able to make a gun in the middle of a casino. Oh, right, finally. I'm actually very happy to find melee weapons because we don't even have a, a melee weapon for everyone in the base. Darko has to make do with a rusty screwdriver, which is only meant for close combat. There's still two more places to loot. This is one, and that's the other. That play cart, though, it's gotta go. You're asking if that's Azarat? That's the last I one. don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Why don't we check with Azarat? Oh, I want that food. Oh, he's next to a screamer though, which doesn't make my life. It does look a lot like Azarak. Let's uh, put him out of his misery for good. I want to deposit this stuff in my car, grab the extra food, and then check Azarak. All right, we got the watchtower. Upgrading it would cost fifteen more building materials. Leave the car that far away. Ah, there we go. Earl Von Boomer is no longer frustrated. What what turned you around there, Boomer? She likes the watchtower. Okay, so it's a very, very good thing that we built a watchtower. Stopped Earl Von Boomer chimping out. Wish I could run while crouched. That's a really nice upgrade to get, but I don't have it right now. People are recovering from their horrible injuries. Let's see if that was Azarak. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Don't you dare. Yeah, it was! Now, here's the thing. Custom characters, I am not going to loot their bodies. Because, well, okay, no wonder you were useless. You only asked for an ultralight and a rusty screwdriver. Either that or that's all I gave you. Uh, point is, custom characters, they can have whatever guns they want, but it would be too overpowered if I could just take it off their dead bodies. So I refuse to do that. I took one attempt at a play cart. I dropped a soda can... What was it? Two soda can bombs, six molotovs, maybe just five and a pipe bomb, and the, the character didn't even react. Normally they something, say something like, yeah, that's doing it, or oh god, this will take forever. Uh, I don't even think we reached phase two on the play cart. What I need to do is get somebody with a, uh, a bottle of monster energy drink, and have them wail on it with a hammer, whilst drowning in healing items to deal with the inevitable attacks. 
Of course, if a Plague Feral approaches, we just get the heck out of there, because there's not much I can do against that. You, or you, causing me issues. Ugh, man, these infestation hordes just keep coming. Did I ever actually get my, uh... No, I, I, didn't, I didn't get my outpost back. I need my outposts. Alright, come on. These guys have to go. I'm gonna lure them over to the, uh... To Vietnam. I think I hear one of them is a feral. A plague feral, no less. Do they blow up? Surely everyone blows up. They've done the trick. And it seems to have taken out the horde there. Right. Infestation. Whoa, now. At least I can be relatively safe parked here. Relatively. is done. I didn't actually want the latrine, but since I have it, I may as well use it. That um, that feral just complicated matters. Get on the front of my car. There we go. And then splat off each rocks. Don't want to ruin my car here. Um, said I don't want to ruin my car. There's the screamer, though. If I could just car door you. Splat! Oh boy, so much for not ruining my car. Oh dear, I can't have another ruined car. Did I did I still have a Did I still have a toolbox? These cars just don't last. I hope I still had a toolbox. I have one last toolbox. Alright, let's fix this car up. I was meant to use it on the other car, but nope. This one's getting all the love. Come on, Vagabond. Right. Take you out, take you out, and... Wait, what? Oof. Oof, oof, oof. I think there's a play card in there. Sleeping plague heart. Well, that's bad. Be able to equip the shed. At least with that, our food situation looks positively scrumptious. But these plague hearts have got to go. I don't know who's going to get the lofty job of dealing with it, but someone has to. Were there any other types of zombies in there? not. Ooh, hay bales. Oh, even better, trailer bay. Could contain delicious building supplies, which I desperately need. How's the radio looking for resources? 22 minutes on materials. There are other radio commands you can do. Supply drops? I don't like taking the supply drops. Those are, I mean, they're not even pay to win, it's just click to win. Maybe it's DLC stuff, maybe it's Ultimate Edition stuff, I don't know. But it's just like, hey, here's your one-off loot, and it's full of high-level supplies, it's just, no. I'm playing this to have a punishingly difficult time. And it's delivering. I am pretty happy with what we're seeing so far. I'm going to tag this area, just have the, the area considered safe. Good. And Max Wits for Von Dougals. Let's get you... Increased stamina, light encumbrance, weapon durability. 
resourcefulness, consumables, scouting range, enemy detection, gun durability. Quieter sneaking, quieter interaction. Ooh, boy, I don't know. Um, okay, resourcefulness. And let's put it to immediate use. Not much to say now, huh? Von Duels is now a hero. If you get enough renown, I forget what it's called. Is it called renown? Community standing. If you get enough of that, you get your hero bonus. And for him, it's uh, plus 15 max stamina for everybody. That's good. Actually, is it for everyone or just for him? I, I think it's everybody. And that's great. I need that stamina to run away from ferals. I thought it was just personal. Mm. Yeah, it talks about everybody. I'm pretty sure it applies to everybody. Either everybody or your base. Ooh, that's some decent stuff. And you're right, shooting is max too. Reduce recoil, kick attack. Increased bullet penetration and dismemberment. Mmm. Yep, yep. That's a bloater. Worry not about the bloaters. Worry more about getting us the supplies that we need. Okay, this may have building supplies in it. Please do. It does not. Where else? Where else? This is a possibility. Uh, I would like to fast search, but I don't want that horde coming my way. Damn, there's a lot of hordes. Oh, that's sweet. And, uh... Could I do this without the horde seeing me? Pretty please, yes. Okay, we're doing it fast. Taking a risk. The bolts are good. Now let's go. One person saw me. I can hear them on me. Two. I really don't want them to hurt my car, so I'm not getting in the car yet. With this resourcefulness, it's much, much more likely that we recover the bolts. And that's good. Let's also ditch you, 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 and... Oh, right, we've got the extra pockets. Nice. Right, I want you done and you done. I guess we'll take care of the siege one first. It's smaller, and I don't want to be put under another one of those horrible sieges. I see you. Don't think I don't see you. I know your game you're playing. That might drag some of them out of the building. It does. There's the screamer. He shoots, he scores. God, I, I really like this resourcefulness. I don't need to feel tight-fisted using the, the bow here. We get almost all of the bolts back. It's going to be even better when I have a functioning workshop because it's actually quite cheap to make bolts. That was pretty bad though. That was a that was a plague feral. I don't have the wherewithal to handle a plague feral. Hopefully he stays over there. I will remain over here. I want those bolts back. Getting dangerously close to a feral. That is silent, no need to worry. No, 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 I don't want to take him out, I want to take the freaking bolt! There's only one context button, so sometimes it does not do what you want it to do. One of the most common things is a plague sample is dropped next to you. You try to take it, but instead your character just runs up and tries to hug a zombie. I do like this mod. It's not Dark Side, but Dark Side is gone. We have to learn to let go. Right, can we be done clearing out this area, at least for a little bit of respite? This is a larger, scarier area. Fortunately, we. Uh oh! Whoa, 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 that was a plague bloater. Didn't realize I just saw the regular plague zombie. Right, I will park next to our friends for security, and hopefully they'll take good care of uh, my vehicle. I got more where that came from. 
<laughs> Do you, IFT? John has seen it all before. If there's not a pack of seven ferals, he's not even interested. It's a shame they took this area. This could have building supplies in it, but you can't loot a, uh, an enclave's building. You'd need to either clear them out or kill them all or just generally not have them there. Right. It's only 70 meters away. Couldn't you guys deal with this? It's okay. It's quite simple. Take out the screamers and take out the infestation. Leighton broke his hip from up here. That's a juggernaut. That's a bloater. Oh, I know. Pop the bloater. And we'll see if we can't get all of the zombies away from there. Hopefully... Okay, I thought they'd go for the bloater noise, but... I guffed the shot. That was a feral from the the house. Of all the places to set camp, they chose the one without a roof. <laughs> yep. Don't ask me what they were thinking, because I do not know. I wonder if I can get big tons of fun over here. Oh, no, he's stuck in the wall. That works for me. Gonna try that again? That's what I thought. Now where's the screamer? Probably inside the base. Mm -hmm. Right, you know what? I'm just going to yell at them. There he is, and you would take the bait, they always do. Ah. Almost cleverer than the average uh, screamer. Where was it? Is it in sight? Kind of immersion breaking when we have old Juggy just stuck in the wall there, but. Such is the fate of big open world games like this. I wonder if I can just wail on him until he dies. Is that a screamer? It is. Ah, crap. Ah, oh, crap. I don't want them to wake up plague hearts. And I'm gonna miss again. Yeah, there we go. Would, would you get that? Oh, jeez. Oh, Good deeds always getting rewarded. Oh, okay, which plague heart woke up? God, we got plague hearts woken up left, right, and across the board. those useless survivors that are always begging for handouts. I will not be handing them out. You. You caused me issues. You gotta die. There we go. Right. No more infestations. 
I'm gonna tell these people to suck a lemon, and then I am moving on. He does have a first aid kit. I love first aid kits, so I'm gonna buy it. They're too rare. I saw that Storm Lantern, I wanted to pick it up for... Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. What did I want to pick it up for? I'm sure there was a word in my head. It's not to sell you. I've got a few things to sell you. Okay, I can do that. The Long Dark, that's it. Hey, Fat Miner, could you buy my menthols and my honeycomb, please? I'm doing pretty good on influence. Pretty great, even. And I never did flush this toilet. There we go. I'm gonna keep the toilet. Actually, morale has been such an issue. I have... Ooh, oh, hang on, hang on. There might be materials in here. Down! What are you rocking here, Von Doogles? Your bare fist, because I still lack close combat and melee weapons. Pretty ballsy attack, though. Is that a base in the half-assed house? Tough man. Uh, oh, another infestation horde is on the move. And I missed the goodies that... It sounded like Bellcat found it. Good old Bellcat. I know all those horrible things people say about you. I just want you to know I... Uh, none of that coming out of my mouth. That's what I'm talking about. Also, that is what I'm talking about. This is all what I'm talking about. These are great. See, there is great fat loot to be had, even on lethal mode. But it's finding the time and security to go and get it that can be a bit of a pickle. We've had these infestations popping up. We, we have a uh, hideously bad time dealing with hearts. And... Tell me that was a light crossbow. Mmm. Oh, I love the light crossbow. I like it more than the standard crossbow because it uses light bolts, which are cheaper to manufacture. Less likely to... It just uses bare hands! <laughs> um, I think they're more likely to break. I don't know if it mentions that here. Smaller than a standard crossbow bolt, fully capable of scoring a silent headshot. Okay, well, uh, from my experience, I find that they are less reliable. But that's okay, just make up for, for it with an bolt. Ooh, god, I'm out of space here, aren't I? Um, it's okay, I can sell the sellables that I found. How you doing? Pretty good, so, Fat Miner, pretty mean, damn good. Sure. Take this dented can of beer, take the other pack of menthols, and it's very tempting to sell the salvage furnace, but into the late game, that's very, very good. Because you can just start breaking apart your items and get a load of parts. And parts... Well, the parts economy is a big part of the late game. Hmm? Oh, there you are. Come on out here. And... Give him the neck breaker. It gets a little glitchy if you kill zombies without a close combat weapon. You constantly get the prompt to kill them again. Uh, here we go. If this is even more building materials, I'm a very happy man. Ooh, ever mention how happy I am? I can fill up the Vagabond again. I really like Darkseid's increased fuel capacity on the vehicles. It didn't give you more fuel. But it just allowed you to fill up a car to a much greater degree, and that, that feels better. Alright, they just took the bleeding... what is it? Princess house. But I need to go and tell the other survivors to nap off. We're gonna do that, we're gonna get these back home, and I might just be able to increase our lookout tower. I want it to be taller, and to have two people shooting from it instead of one. One person is fallible. Two people? Hmm. Can't go wrong. So these people are constantly going to give us demands, and they're going to sound pathetic, because they are pathetic. And the best thing we can do is just constantly tell them we are doing nothing. Pinal said you were coming to help us. Please say yes. We're dying here. 
case uh -oh. nobody noticed, we're all starving to death. I will not spare you anything. If you won't help us, we're gonna have to leave so we don't die of starvation here. Oh, oh, hello. You just awakened a play cart, you rotter. You know, these guys might not survive long enough to uh, to starve to death. Better move on. I just want my car cleared so that I don't take damage on it. Whoa, whoa, that, that zombie's got no head! Kind of cool. How did that happen? How do we get a zombie with no head? Looks like I'm really playing Dominions Five. Right, I, I need to not be here. I got a lot of good stuff to take back home, and I intend to take it back home. Oh, but there's a, an infestation horde right here that I would like to not have right here. I see my opportunity. Go, go, go! Splat! Okay, I'm out of here. Wait, the horde is apparently still alive? Look at that feral. Ah, uh, yeah, they infested. Okay, well, what's a man to do? Let's get these materials back home, at least defend our home. I missed the Dominion's five streams, to be honest, says Rainy. Excellent background music. Well, I also miss them, but Tyrion refuses to do his time in Mario, and when he does his Mario time, that's when I do my Dominion's time. But if you were willing to do the Mario Marathon jaunt in his place and put on your best Swedish accent, I could fool myself into thinking that I'm watching Tyrion. And then I would happily get back on with Dominion's. Not least of all, because I have the Dominion's randomizer installed, and I've had it ready to go for months. But, alas, the Swedish menace. Hey, maybe we can see our lookout tower put to good use. Tons of fun is on top. Completely failing every shot. Our surprise building materials could use a boost. Uh, you're not wrong, though. We do need more building supplies, but that's exactly what I brought. Food, building supplies, building supplies, food, building supplies. Others, 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 others. That's a lot of goods. That was a very successful run. We took care of a lot of infestations, although sadly two came back. They are relentless, those infestations. Just crazy. Uh, I am upgrading this watchtower. Darko feels victimized in a conflict with Voomer. Voomer would just stop bullying the whole crew. Man, everybody hears him. So listen, I used to work for this dude who could get pharmaceuticals without a prescription. I'm listening. Very listening. Uh, I have one backpack here. I still don't have a close combat weapon for you, so you're making making use of the drive shaft. Take the bolt scout. I like how silenced it is, though. Um. Take the big hank rifle. Reload the bolt scout while we're at it. If I can have some ammo for it, the bolt here. scout isn't a bad scouting weapon because it's silenced and it won't break. Bolt actions never break. They never even get damaged. So let's have Von Dooglies take a breather and does very well, cat. Who's depressed because of our nosy bell cat and Layton. And it's gonna get out there. It's time for me to work on something more personal. And I'm mm -hmm. going to reward your services by giving you an actual weapon, both melee and ranged. Have a parang. And 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 Yeah, if I never use the prepper rifle, it's never gonna be worth having, is it? I guess I'll take it with me. It's got a huge capacity. And it zooms in. I just wish it were silenced, but I don't want to take a... I don't want to put a crappy suppressor on it, because crappy suppressors wear out your gun really fast. Still have half an hour of mines on you. We're unclogging that toilet as we speak. 
God, how do you... Oh, I don't, I don't want to think about how we're using a toilet with no running water. Dry toilets do exist. In fact, I've had the displeasure of using a dry toilet when I was on the island of... Mull, I think it was. And it is displeasure. Uh, also, if you're going out there, you're going to have a proper backpack, dog cat. Was it our esteemed car insurance salesman doing the lookout with that really crappy pistol? Should be someone with a nice automatic weapon. It's not like I can't take care of this on my own, but some help would be yeah, acceptable. Hmm. Somebody needs help? I can actually do that on the way towards Spellcat Stash if I take the southern route. Uh, wait, I thought a tartan mart got infested down here. I don't see an infestation. Clearly my imagination. Ugh, man. Need cars to drive, but the toolbox economy is just rough. I'll do it. You resolve to your fate yet, yeah, Bellcat. You just never sound happy with the situation. This game is so much fun. If you think watching this game is fun, then really, try playing. It's amazing. Best in genre, I would even say. For an open world zombie survival game, it is incredibly surprising how lacking in jank and bugs and typical open world nonsense it is. Alright, Kelly, what's your situation? Uh... If I recall well, and I do recall well, that tartan mark was horrifically infested. Oh, but you have building materials, don't mind me. I will buy that right off of you. Do I want to buy the ammo, though? Now that I can see ammo is used for... Yeah, okay, just, just, go and, just go and run right into them. I might actually buy the ammo off of you now that I know that ammo can be used for landmines. What have you got for us? Sure. Even though it's expensive, I'll take that off of you. And I want to check, check and see if there's anything new. Hello, Trading my is my lifeblood right now. What have you got for us? Sounds fine. Yeah, I'll take more ammo off of you. Gotta spend money to make a uh, survival. All right, let's go, Kelly. Let's go to your definitely infested friends. She's probably going to offer to join our team. I will Let's turn her. Let's go faster. I will turn her down if that happens. Yeah, I'm guessing there's a plague heart not too far away. Jeez, now that's a four and a half. Can't afford too many hits on this car, as we have seen. There you go. You yeah. I knew there was an infestation here, Kelly. You think you can handle it? Because I think I cannot. Oh, there's a juggernaut. Um. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I could try and do this our sneaky light. There's a lot of them. Oh, this ain't this ain't gonna go well. Ow! Oh, no wonder. Bellcat's always so unhappy. Uh, I'm surprised we're not seeing her get snapped in half. Kelly, this was a doomed operation. Oh, crap. Oh, double crap. <laughs> Von Dougal's is happy, at least. Right, you know what, Kelly? This was never gonna work out. I'm gone. I am... Oh, dear. This is not worth dying for. Is she even alive? I think I just ran over her corpse. No, no, she must still be alive. Her... Her place is still there on the map. I'm in danger. I could be torn out of my car because of that feral. Very, very easily. Right. I'll deal with the feral the easy way. Get in the front of my car, lad. 
and splat. Oh god. Kelly, are you alright? Oh! Kelly? Oh, there's Kelly. Was it? Where's Kelly? Where, where is Kelly? There she's around, but... Oh, there she is. I think we're about to witness the birth of two Kellys. go. Mm-hmm. My car is over there. Yeah, I think we're a little low on bandages for an injury like that. God, I wish I, wish I had something to distract these guys. I want to loot Kelly's corpse. Tons of fun there, makes plenty of noise, which drags uh, zombies towards him. And if I try and drag them away with my presence, that's going to cause problems as well. I might take the opportunity to scout the area with this scouting post. What does the mod add? There's a link to the mod in the description, but just lots more zombies, lots more hordes. Bigger oh, hordes. Crap. Barrel is up here. We seriously need to be cleaning up these infestations. I just spotted another plague heart. Mm, that barrel's at the base, isn't it? Yes, yeah, just waiting for me to come down. This is bad. At least it's just a regular feral. Uh oh. I need a break. I really, really do. Hey, where'd I leave my car? Right there. I hope Juggy doesn't just wander into it. When he does that, he can just break your car. Just by walking it and touching it. Okay, it's okay. Zombies fear you more than you fear them. That bloater might not, though. Get away from him. Right. Conditions might be okay to go and loot what's left of Katie's corpse. Yeah, I've not killed the play cart. I tried, but it was uh, really, really resilient. Don't hear any zombies. But in plague territory, but nevertheless. Okay, unfortunately, the lower half of you doesn't contain the interesting stuff. I need to check the upper half of you. Got anything good, Katie? Uh, kind of. A backpack, close combat weapon, melee weapon. You. Oh, whoa, whoa, your friends were here as well. Of course your friends had died in the infestation. This might work out pretty well for us, all things considered. Another backpack, another close combat this is weapon. Seriously too heavy. Where's your other other friend? There's usually three. Also might be more food here. Well, 
the upper half is in the upper half is in the grass. Okay, I'll need to check that then. Where's the other checkable resource? Should be something else to loot in and around here. You sure she's in the grass? That's a long way to throw a corpse. Oh God! No, I think God took the day off. There's nothing I'm getting off of Katie. Right, we can vacate, but I need to vacate for a quick water break. I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. All right, back to it. Again, this was not too terrible on the loot. I need to get back to my car and back to safety and... Uh, oh, there's the infested value wagon. His infestations are going to bring down morale. Fortunately, though, we can always unclog the toilet whenever morale's looking a bit rough. And there we go, liking the watchtower and the latrine duty. And I think just the existence of the toilet? No, we'd need to upgrade it with some actual flowing water for people to be happy with the toilet. Mm. That's why the strip mall in Drucker is really good. Comes with a decent toilet. Don't worry, this is all silent. Nobody has to know. Where'd the Juggernaut go? I wandered over there. It's fine though. Just get in my car and get out of here. But I really like clearing the area around the car because otherwise you can just get in, the zombies jump the car, the car goes up in flames. All bad things. But we are going directly home, I think. Even though there's Bellcat Stash there, apparently. No, we can do Bellcat Stash and drop off our goods by the landmine rigged area. Let's go, Bell. Don't hit those bloaters. Part of me would say that this game has very forgettable music, but I often find the music playing in my head when I'm not playing the game, that is. Don't worry, this place is safe. It's not rigged with landmines, but zombies don't spawn here, so the only zombies that appear here are ones that wander in or follow me in. But I can ditch all of these wonderful weapons I found. 
And that's our lot. Took a staggering one shot with Crapper 2 2. Maybe I should just run over there rather than risk taking a car. I think there's only one. Yeah, feels warm and sticky. So gross. I think there's only one sack of medical supplies in there, and no matter what comes my way, it's not a long way to run to safety. Probably better than attracting too much attention heading over there. Especially since doing that has certainly alerted plenty of play carts, and I've got my work cut out for me destroying them. I wish mods would stop adding health to play carts. It's such a grind to destroy them. It was probably one of my only uh, things I didn't like in Dark Side. I loved everything else. Can't let that feral take me down. What feral? Probably that feral. Let's put a pin in it. Yeah, probably my only problem with State of Decay, uh, with the Dark Side mod. Those bleeding, unkillable play carts. Sometimes these have uh, toolkits, which is why I like to check them, but often they don't, often they just have... Ooh, cardio. Uh, I'm going to make you a powerhouse. So looking forward to knocking down some zombies. Carry capacity, scouting range, enemy detection. I'll, I'll make you make you a scouty person. Look at that. On the minimap now, it shows where enemies are, and that's quite nice. If we get through this without issue, I'm going to do some trading as well. This is where T-Dog used to leave the drugs for me. T-Dog. Classic T-Dog. You know, it sounds awfully infested with zombies over there. Every time I miss State of Decay 2, I just need to either play it for 10 hours or watch someone play it uh, for a bit. Then I remember why I'm off the game. I trust it's well for you. It's very well for me. What turns you off from it, Pizza? I might love the game, but I'm not uh, I'm not going to shield it from criticism. Okay, we could locate more food, but I'm far more interested in locating building materials. We only have three in the base. In fact, I am going to do a shout out for that. Will someone ask our neighbors about good places to search? We've got people on it. Thank you, Network. And hey, Von Dougals is no longer tuckered out. I'm getting to work. Happy to help. She does not sound happy to help. Whatever the opposite of happy to help is, that's how she sounds. Oh, there's going to be food and medical supplies in here, aren't there? It's a problem. That's that's something I should have brought the. That is something I should have brought the car over for. That's right, finish. Being sick certainly has the upsides. Ooh, finding molotovs is always an upside. Repetition, too many things at the same time after time. True, but I do like the repetition. Wait, those stacked in there, cool. I hope someone nearby likes cigars. Found it. I will. All right, that's great and all, but I need to put this, I need to put this food away. Okay, marginally regretting what I did with my car by leaving it back, but just got to get back to the car and then back to here and not have that screamer alert even more play carts. Get down. I really don't want that screamer getting close. Didn't you just kill the screamer or is there another one? At least on the second journey back, I've got no problem just legging it. Easy now. Easy now. There's a feral nearby. I don't want to alert it to my presence. Cars are quite loud and visible, so... 
not the number one thing for me to be running around with. Uh, I think I will go and trade these cigars to you. What was that noise? Well, maybe it was my landmines. Landmines are pretty cool. Pretty cool. Such a way to make a, a safe house actually a safe house. A like break. the feeling that you can go there and be safe. Hello, my friend. What have you got for us? Sounds fine. Ammunition is tempting. Toolbox is a must. A hobbyist 1911. It's cheap and I would say worth it. I'm gonna equip that actually. Give me the ammo as well. I, I don't know why I have so much influence. I feel like I'm generating a lot more influence than I have ever done before. Maybe because the mod spawns so many more zombies, there's so many more to kill? That doesn't seem right though. The zombie kills are one of the lowest ways to get influence in the game. I don't have an answer, but I'm about to have a whole lot of backpacks. Ammo, 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 food, building supplies, and medical supplies. And where were the materials? Not that far away. It's tempting. Seems normal to me. You just don't have much to spend it on. Ah, there is that. Sold a bunch of menthols. Yeah, I've been getting pretty lucky with high-value things to sell. But I reckon it's just uh, I haven't had a lot to spend it on. Oh, now I remember. On dark side, the cost of even basic outposts is enormous. It's something like 1500 Vanilla, it's only about 300 which is what we're paying here. Because this mod doesn't change the costs of enclaves. Or uh, outposts, rather. You are right, WTF. I will drop off the bags first. Now, one big criticism I have of this game is you're always so busy. The the other survivors will just not stop pestering you. Uh, I mean, we need food, we need building supplies, we need you to come and find our lost survivor, we need this. Even once you've allied them, they still keep making demands. I can hear and well, see the feral over there. Users. But these things often have circuits, which are expensive. So good for selling early, but I prefer to hold on to them because they can be used to make C4. And I suspect I'm going to want quite a lot of C4 in this run. There's so many play carts. So if you've submitted a character that knows chemistry, um, yeah, we, m we might be able to make something work. I think I used Nitro in one of the previous runs because he was a chemist and uh, made the C4 with him, unfortunately, on Dark Side. Play carts laugh at the very idea of C4. You want to destroy a play cart on dark side, you bring an ungodly amount of fire or a heavy melee weapon. That nearby play cart means there's no real security here. But hey, uh, Illustrator was able to solo a play cart. It, it cost everything he had, and I seem to recall him breaking open bags just to get bandages to keep surviving. Darko's not happy about me taking tea dogs pharmaceuticals. True enough, he doesn't sound like a very reputable individual. I can just ask, has everyone, has anyone died yet? What do you take me for? We got terminal blood plague on Darko, but we were able to bring him back from the brink. Otherwise, we've been doing okay. I don't think I'd ever sell a rucksack. If I ever ended up with too many uh, resources in the base, what I would sooner do is just dump them in an outside car for later. Because you can generally use all the resources some way, somehow. Splendiferous. It's, it's your job, Bellcat. Get used to it. Ditch, 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 ditch. Keep in car. And let's get home with this for the mission. Oh, that's a lot of goodies. Keep a... I am sorely tempted to use that repair pack, but I actually think I want to repair the other car. It's got better capacity, I believe. But it's also... Uh, 
I, I don't know. It's going to be difficult to uh, have a good idea. Feral on me. He wants to be. There you go. Empty, okay. We'll get you fixed up and brought home properly. I like the fact that the call's card Ramesses as well. Anything that makes me think of the Prince of Egypt is gonna be good in my books. And we even had Three spare doors in that toolkit. Wonderful. I watched the last group of survivors, so I take it you're playing No Man's Land. Yeah, I'm playing No Man's Land. I'd sooner play... Uh, dark Side, but... Sadly, we have no Dark Side. Also, I've actually gone over my ammo capacity, and now I'm going to do exactly what I was talking about, and that is... I hope nothing hard to... Store excess backpacks in the car. Maybe I did end up buying too much of this stuff. What do you mean? People are actually okay right now. This lethal mode minus 30 to morale can be a bit of a pain, but as long as we have our... Oh god, this costs materials per day. Ooh. Ooh, not a big fan. Not a big fan. I'm gonna store that here. I'm going to ditch this sidearm. And bring the car back, and then Bellcat gets a breather. Bellcat, you are working your way up. That experience rate bonus from Professor Layton's pretty good. The minus noise from Boomer would be great, although I don't know how noise works in the new system. This is amazing, though. Getting Darko's plus one outpost limit, mmm, that is huge. Especially with the way outposts work now. That's probably one of the big reasons I was insisting on keeping Darko alive. Could have just let him die, you know, but... Come on, come on. Up and Adam Ramesses. Do not let those people go. Went a bit farther, Chip. Where'd you learn to drive, Belkin? Why? Why does it look like there's plague stuff all over our home? See on the minimap there, there's a, there's that splatter effect. Get over here. I am I'm not a big fan of uh, all those screamers over there. There were more. It sounded like there were more. Alright, but hey, this is why we have a lookout tower. Who's up there? I don't know, but whoever it is, they better, better make good in their shooting. Who is that? I can't tell. That's Von Doodles. Who's got the aviator hat? Thank you, Sasquatch. <laughs> I've seen Darko fumbling with his tiny, pathetic gun. Alright, good job. Uh, wear that ultralight, and... Don't keep the prepper. What gun do we dare to give you? You know what, you seem pretty good with the... M17. There you go. Get you checked in, and it's time for Darko to level up a touch. And get a better gun. I think I'll actually switch out the prepper to you. I really like the Prepper gun. Oh, but I really like the Volt Scout. Prepper for now. And no, you're not taking your tiny little purse weapon. 
And we can actually get you a melee weapon. Depends what we're going out to do at this point, actually. I want to go up and get those building supplies. We only have eight. There's not a lot to build here, but um, what we can do is upgrade our outposts. Mm -mm -mm. Even more food is very good. Learn gardening is not important. Which of these two are we more likely to keep for a long time? The peddler or the corn farm? The corn farm is better situated. It covers more useful area. So yes, the corn farm. I think. Hard to say, really. We'll do the corn farm, though. So corn farm gets upgraded. Okay, good. Still has a cost, but... I want that extra food income, and it's a good use of our materials at this moment. Because when food goes low, people get very unhappy about it. Also, damn Twitch and its instant button for pinning. I accidentally moved my mouse outside the game and decided to pin a comment for it. Right. Right, right, right. Darko, let's get to work. Part of me just really wants to clear out that blessed plague heart, but no. I could send Darko in there with the beetle mallet and uh, energy drinks and what else. Maybe a lighter backpack than that eight pound one. Nah, you need the space. Uh, more fire. More fire. Energy drinks. Got a bad infestation here. Whoa, what? <laughs> a level three infestation appeared in the pretty white house. Is it pretty white or is it pretty and white? The world might never know. I'm not sure I care too much about taking that out right now. Part of me thinks maybe I should care about it. At least with this I can silently take out the screamers around it. God damn it, I need to deal with the heart. No, the heart takes precedence right now. Moving time. Earl von Boomer wants us to get a new home base. Hey, Admittedly, I would like to navigate to a new home base, but I think we need to clear up plague hearts before we can move. Yeah, see that? The brewing company is a pretty decent um, place to move to. Situation cannot be allowed to become worse. Why are people unhappy? Did someone clog the toilets? There we go. Unclog those toilets, please. And for the love of God, Darko, do not lose this beetle mallet. It's really, really good. Right, uh, Ramesses probably wants a bit of fuel, and a bit of fuel is something we actually do have. Clog toilet is the eight without table. <laughs> Eight Without Table actually made for an excellent song on the RimWorld playlist. Uh, yeah, we moved over these survivors, so I can't use them to body block around here. Uh, do we still have the napalm from the Peddler's Barbecue? No, it's it's gone. Um, I actually will do that again, because it's just so good for keeping the area clear. Surprised it's gone so quickly. Maybe I shouldn't be. Please don't. Hey, there's that infesting horde that was just on the move. If they want to come over here, I could give them what's for. Oh, they're heading to our outpost. Well then, by all means, come this way. Please, I welcome it. Hang on, another one? Oh my days, there! 
They are relentless. Okay, so the landmines can go off on them that are on your vehicle. Let's keep that in mind, shall we? Oh, that, that, that cost me a door. You don't get any of the influence and stuff from doing that, so instead, let's just pop, pop, and pop. Jesus, how many landmines did we make? All of them? I wonder if this can blow up your car. It looks like the landmines never go off if it's very close to the player. But my car is not very close to me. What if someone approaches from that side? That was all well and good, but honestly, it just cost us more than it gave us because the other uh, horde was still on the move. And look at that, it doesn't actually thin out the zombies. The zombies will just keep spawning. You can kill a million of them, there's still going to be loads of zombies around. Uh, right, top tip. Keep your front of your car parked against something. I should have parked it better than that, but hey. Um, because it means that, yeah, get off of me. When the zombies start coming your way, and you get into the car, they're not actually going to instantly ask for us. Just get in. Chug your energy drink. It's time to get to work. Wow, you did it! I guess the fire did more damage than I thought. Oh, get off of me! I'm not here to go terminal again, you hear me? Oh, maybe I am. That's a double horde. Beat that! Oh, dearie me! Right, we're, we're legging it. We still have the power of the monster energy drink flowing through us. Somewhat. Who's that? Just some fat ass. Okay, that's great. So heavy weapons still work good against plague hearts and so do fire. Also, I want all of you over here. Come on. Take the oh right. I thought I'd take the car over from here, but no, the car's already over there. Ah, but that cleared up the area. Sweet, I can claim places again. I can take fat loot like that replacement Molotov. Who keeps a Molotov at a at a wee stand-up coffee shop place like this? I've gone and done it now. Mm. Yeah. Come on, Horde. I want some of you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so much for they have to be a certain distance away from you. Take care in landmine territory. 
Right, there's no sense getting cocky about this. We need to heal up. The landmines are part of the latest update. The mod doesn't touch it, as far as I'm aware. Right, there we go. I'm surprised you can squeeze through the window. enough space to buy as much as we can. Bloody hell, these hordes. They're just pouring out. I thought I took out the play cart. But they're just clartering the area now. One of the hordes on the move. More than one way to clear out a horde. Oh right, I'm horribly plagued. I shouldn't be taking risks. My friends, on the other hand, they can take the risks. I want to level up my cardio to be a powerhouse. That seems like us. No point being this big if you're not strong. Get down and stay down. I want you to have these bag of fiber explodes, whatever that is. And I want nothing of what you have. And okay, we're doing well on our standing. Taking out a play cart gives a lot of standing. Another horde! It just doesn't stop! It's just insane how fast those come out. I don't mind that it's making the world more hostile, I mind that it's... Oh, well, we missed the materials. I mind that it's just so constant, the game gives you very, very little time to actually do what you want to do. In a way, it goes against the open world nature of the game. Maybe less frequent, but far more meaningful would be uh, be what I want out of these. I want the car, and I want the fat loot inside the play cart. Play carts are filled with very good loot. There's almost always a gun, a melee weapon, a sack of resources, medical supplies, and then just a hodgepodge of other things. And people are happier now that we've unclogged the toilet. Glue Glue Ball is also very glad that the toilet has been unclogged. I decided to unclog some gifted subs out there. Cheers. As long as there's an awake heart, it's going to keep crapping out zombies like an overflowing toilet. <laughs> yeah, we know about overflowing toilets here. Right. This is the good stuff. Give it to me. A professional break on an SP5K custom sounds great. Give, 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 give. And while we're at it, we may as well search the area. At least if we leave the um, we leave the infestations going, we'll get some cool sieges back at the base. We have a pretty poor base. I don't want to keep using this mallet though, I need to keep it in good condition for taking out play carts since I don't have a workshop to, uh, to improve it. So I'll put on the Gladius instead. A rusty screwdriver was not worth finding inside the play cart. What is that noise? The world was that noise. Is that the sound of an infestation happening? Jeez, that's a lot of awake play cards. One, two, three, four, five. A lot of work to take them out, but well, if you weren't so horribly infected, I'd say we found our man to do so.
Do they domino? Maybe. Trouble brewing. Are you another bunch of those brewer folks? Mm, that professional break is really good. Really, really good. Get in the car for now, just in case I end up getting lost time and space. Put away that backpack as well. I'm gonna check what's left in the house and then. Hmm, do we do trouble brewing or not? We're starting to fight back against the game. I think we're gaining power slightly faster than it's uh, removing power from us and empowering itself with all those infestations and things. Where's the last bit to search? It's one of the outside ones, is it? It is. Yoink. Trouble brewing. Keep an eye out. I'll be oh, oh, right, so it's actually the Brewer group the is back again. I do like them, so I'm happy to help them. Boomer wants to move, but I don't want to help Boomer move. Also, I don't really have a silent weapon to deal with some of these infestations. Um, I think I might deal with this one anyway, though. Just because I'm right next to it. How hard could it be? Not only am I right next to it, I've uh, got my napalm right next door as well. One thing about these landmines, they fairly trivialize finding samples. But, you know, thinking about it, the game, it's pretty trivial to get samples outside of the early game anyway. And I mean the very early game. Stimulants and strong painkillers, I always just sell them. They're worth very good money, so I don't see the point in holding on to them. Why use strong painkillers when you can just use multiple incredibly cheap regular painkillers or even bandages? Bandages are ultra cheap. Right, you've done good. In fact, you've done so good on that job. Oh, why don't I just put them away? Uh, screw it, put it all away. Put away the backpack as well. You did so good, you can keep the backpack you found, and you can keep the Professional Break SP5K Custom. Civilian legal version of the MP5K. You see that gun? Kind of hard to see there because of your hat, but I'm going to trust that it's good. Oh, it's a sidearm. Sidearm pistol. Steer clear of those plague zombies or I won't get better. Yeah, well, good for you. Uh, I'm not going to abandon, but we can switch characters and send in... I do want Bellcat leveled up because labor is amazing. Silence policy is also pretty good. And Von Boomer has been a bit too fussy, so you need to get back out there. Landmines really shouldn't be infinite. Trivializes it. Place where safe no matter what, it's too easy. Yeah, I think it is a... It is pretty damn powerful. It's pretty fun, though, as well. That's why I'm not opposed to using it. Prepper's AK-47. If anything, that's what should have the break. Ooh, I wonder how strong guns are against the plague hearts. That is worth checking. Um... Okay, sorry, Darko. I need you back again for a moment. Although I said you can have that gun, what I meant was... Um... You know, let that break. If I put the break on the AK, it should become very, very powerful. Uh, yeah, that, that's your that's your lot in life. This works, right? Yeah! Wow! Look at the power. And we have it on fully auto. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna try this out. And of course, the beetle mallet, a better backpack, and some energy drinks, and some molotovs. Yeah, that's been kitted out for a heart attack, but I'm not actually going for a heart right now, am I? I'm helping these guys out. Apparently. No, I'm, I'm going for this horde. Jeez. Oh, Whatever. Do everything. Does this have a zoom? 
marginally. That is one beefed up AK-47. Yeah, I do want that. Um, I do want that brewing company base. All right, well that certainly made a lot of noise. Where is the? Oh god, there's a feral here. I'm making a big mistake. But I will attract some attention. So Daisy. Vietnam. Yeah, they hear that and they come running. What's that screamer though? The screamers are slow, so it's gonna be whoa now. Screamer will be bringing up the rear. Don't want to clear out the infestation. That didn't do it. I just spawned a lot of zombies for no good reason. The mines you spawn, but they're not free. 75 parts, 3 ammunition, and 2 fuel. I'm drowning in ammunition. I'm not so drowning in fuel. And actually... One thing you used to be able to do with infestations was lure them out, but not kill any of them. And then it would go, oh, the zombies aren't inside the building anymore. I guess the infestation's gone. Now I think the screamers tend to stay inside, preventing that. So, however you cut it, you do need to kill them. Oops. Shouldn't be wasting this really good... Uh-oh. You were the threat. You had to go. Where's the screamer? Where's the screamer? Where's the screamer? You're the screamer. And you're the screamer. Get off me! That took care of that. I'm gonna get bandaged up and uh, grab the goodies because that feral dropped something. Bandages, you normally have so many of that it's just trivial to keep using them, but early on in this run, oh, even basic healing was hard to come by. Right, I want whatever that feral dropped, and I'm going for the uh, the Brewers. Or the Brewers Mark 2.0. I have this on single fire for now, I don't like wasting expensive 7.76 rounds, which I think is what it has. 7.62 rounds. They are pricey, and I am loath to waste them. I've also found that the the zombies that you kill, the freak zombies that drop stuff in infestations, that they've been dropped garbage so far. Things like two bullets and a bandage. That's fine, though. Oh, that's just great. It would be kind of awful if they dropped, I don't know, grenade launchers and things. But I still want it. Because it's new. It's like when beachcombing was rejigged in The Long Dark. 
I spent hours just beachcombing, so I wanted to see what kind of stuff it spawned. So what are you willing to drop? And while we're at it, what's in that car? That is a, a professional super Okay, I take it back. That's an incredibly good find. I'm going to put the professional suppressor on the Preppers 1022, and I'm going to have an excellent, quiet rifle. Not a silent one, but a very good one. Doesn't seem to be much here. Heck no, great. That's quite fun. A little acrobatic there. I'm not going to use the suppressor right now. I will put it on that awesome gun later on. For now, though, I like what I have. We're going to help out the brewers and then maybe take out a heart, if we can, with Boomer. You feel like you're up to the challenge with no healing, Boomer? I should probably... Oh god, pillage and plunder is a great mission. I should be doing that. It's okay, it'll stick around for a wee bit. I'm going to carry one first aid... One first aid kit. Just in case Boomer looks like she's going to die. I like to be stingy with my first aid kits, but uh, when we have good characters, I don't want to just throw them away. So we're going to do trouble brewing, kill a heart, and then pillage and plunder. Pillage and plunder gives multiple bags of building materials. And that's pretty huge. Am I going the right way here? Yeah, take the off-road. We have explored very little of this map because we haven't had the freedom to move around thanks to all these infestations. But that's one thing that feels good in this. You feel quite oppressed, but over time you will be able to exact your will upon the world. How long that takes depends on difficulty. If you're playing on easy difficulties, it's pretty much immediate. These guys are probably going to want the distillery. I don't want to give them the distillery. I want the distillery. Are you in here? Uh, I'm, I might be doing some bad things here. They don't have a whole group here, do they? I think they just got the one. No, they have a full group. Sweet, but I don't think they have firearms. Talking to me? Huh? I wonder what that means. Weird. Maybe these aren't brewers. Don't mind me, just gonna make a load of noise. Okay. I'm on my way back. So there was some kind of prank call? Uh, I don't know what that was all about. I've seen this mission before, but I don't understand it. Uh, do I want that food? Not really. We're actually good on food for a change, so I'm not gonna spend my hard earned influence on. Uh, Delectables. I'm just gonna leave them with these zombies and be on my merry way. I do want to clear out that heart that's covering the brewer area, and I really do want that base. That's my destination then. Are they gonna stay holed up in this base? Ah, I think that's one of the weirdo survivor groups. What does it say about them? They seem to be a colorful bunch. Those might be the cannibals. I'm not overly familiar with all the missions, because I don't tend to pay much attention to them. This game doesn't have particularly good missions. But they are there. Yeah, this base. I love this base. Good layout, good selection of... Um... Hold that thought. Hold that thought. I need to park you in a decent getaway position. How about just against here, without destroying it? Far away from home. It's a risky place to be. Did I check that Ramesses for materials? I think I did. On the plus side, there's a ladder. I can run away to safety if things go terribly bad here. But we shall go for it. Did I attach the brake? I did. That was the full auto. i be ready for anything manner of speaking.
Bump. It's okay, I expect to be taking plague damage here. It's a plague heart after all. Not a sterile heart. What a swing! Oh, fan bloody tastic! There's a horde nearby. Oh, a horde of two zombies. Okay, not something to worry about then. Let's find that plague heart. Let's also close the doors so we can buy a little bit of time, just in case things start pouring in from here. Now, I granted we have big open areas for them to pour in from, but bear with me. Oh god, the zombies are already making a din. And they're luring over another horde. They didn't spot me though, and I think the... I think the play part's in here. It is! It still has that counter, um, counter attack, the gas attack thing. Can't climb up there. Whoopsie doodle, whoopsie doodle. Don't mind me. Should be able to make a getaway here. They don't know I'm here. That's pretty good. Boy, this beetle mallet really packs a punch. Oh yeah, Zed, oh Zed, I could get behind that. And there we go, there's something I would love to mod in straight away. That would be an excellent source of tension if the only way to get plague samples was from hearts and juggernauts. Boy, I'd love to mod that in, but this game just hates modding. Must be one of those made for Xbox stipulations. If you make your game for Xbox, you absolutely may not make it mod friendly. I want to set those zombies on fire. I really want to set those zombies on fire. Too many of them, they gotta go. More. Huh. Well, that, that didn't seem to help much at all. Alright, Boomer, chug your drink and get stuck in! Holy smokes, there are a lot of them, aren't there? Enjoy! Make yourself scarce, Boomer! Boy, zombies this side, zombies that side, zombies every which side. One can of juice, one first aid kit. No fear. Oh boy, that was almost a catch from behind. Get! Out of Boomer's way. And that's how you do it. Absolutely. Ow! Get off me. You will. You will. Get out of here, Boomer. We can always loot the heart later. For now, just stay alive. How many hearts in this mod? A lot. A whole lot. Get off of me! There we go! Oh crap, they still dragged me out. Oh, double crap! Get in the car! Uh-oh. This car is not long for this world. Oh dear. Oh dearie dear. That car might really not get back up. Right, I need to lose them and then get in the car and then very, very gingerly drive back home. Did I find fuel miraculously? No. Uh, let's check the heart. I didn't want to break it open, but there might be something useful inside it. Damn, 
losing the door from the explosion cut really caught up with me there. Get off me. Yeah, I don't have long. Let's hope that there are no zombies around. Bust that heart open and get back to our car. Well, none of this is particularly useful. I do like those uh, building supplies. And hey, have a police knife. Handmade break. I guess it's something. Um, that'll do for now, right? We've got to move. Desperately. Yeah, that heart went down pretty quickly. And this mod's meant to increase the amount of health on hearts. Gotta get to that, uh, that car without alerting the horde. Have they dispersed? Looks like it. That, that zombie needs to go as well. Uh oh, oh god, it just saw me. Or it almost saw me. Don't worry, Boomer. I'll keep you good. South, follow the road, take the right to get home. Easy. Do not run into anything or else this car is gone. No matter how tempting it is to get that clean hit on a plague feral, we get home, we lick our wounds. Could check her into an outpost, but I, I do just want to straight get home here. It's a relatively clean run up the hill. <laughs> hey, we can put landmines over there. Okay. I sure hope I still have a toolbox, but I likely don't. Deposit that, deposit that, and that, and that, and I do like that break. Keep it on you. I was meant to try out you the, uh, the gun, and I didn't. I know, I know we're dying, I know we're dying, but uh, deposit that and get you a, your, your good old pipe wrench, you love your pipe wrench. I think running water would seriously improve our home life. Hmm. Pillage and plunder. I didn't check Darko in, that was a mistake. Oh god. There's a feral. If the feral gets Boomer, Boomer's gonna die. I need to... I need to attract its attention. Guys, kill it! There we go. Right. I swear I will save you, Boomer. Right, you're not gonna die on me yet, Boomer. We're gonna save you, okay? Here. Did he lose his injuries and get full health from getting fully infected? No, I had a first aid kit. Remember, I uh, I mentioned I didn't want to be too stingy with him, and I grabbed a first aid kit. I used that just after I got uh, chucked out the car, because uh, if I hadn't used it, I was gonna go down, and then they would have plagued me a whole lot worse. So there we go. Boomer is fighting fit thanks to that. I need to check how we are on making those. Five plague samples and two meds to make one load of plague cure. Uh, we have a bajillion uh, plague samples and 15 meds. So we're actually pretty good. Even if people go terminal, the only problem is if they start uh, dying out there. Well, if I can get them back, I can get them cured. I could even preemptively make some cures, which is not a bad idea. I'm going to make two of them preemptively. The toilet is unclogged. People are actually 
a little bit happy. Wow. Don't see that often. Need to keep that toilet though. I really want to move home. Uh, pillage and plunder is really good. Von Dougal's apparently knows of a place that we can get some fat loot. That sounds like an invitation to equip the Prepper 2-2, fully load it, and equip a professional suppressor on it. And that means goodbye to your sidearm and hello to a not terrible backpack. Thanks for staying to the two streams. It gives me an itch to play it again, says Kathy. Cheers. I forgot how fun it was to uh, play this game. It is fun. We lost two good soldiers today. They knifed each other over their sleeping quarters. Make sure your base is equipped with enough beds for everyone. Do we actually have enough beds for everyone? No, we've only got three places to sleep, so two people are... Oh, not quite. We get plus two from the uh, the Enclave, because they give bed and breakfast. And we actually get extra from the double bunk bed and the master bedroom. Swell. Von Dougals. It seems Take... that fate has chosen to smile on us for a change. Oh, thanks, Professor Layton. Still holding his M5A1. His AR-15. Yes, a gentlemanly weapon. I knew you want to check out the scrapyard warehouse. It looks promising, but it's crawling with zombies. Sounds good. After you. Von Dougals, you and your... What are you actually rocking here? He's rocking the big Hank rifle. And I've got the preppers. Alright, we might be able to make this work. In case things go pear-shaped, I'm going to bring a Molotov. Oh, that's right, we've got a brand, don't we? I said Molotov. Not three, I reckon one will do us. And we're heading over to... where exactly? Travel to the scrapyard. But, but where is it? Oh, dear lord, it's it's far away. Well, let's hope we can keep the vehicle going long enough to get there with our zero toolkits. I guess I'll refuel something and then we'll get moving. Maybe one of the maybe one of the enclaves has a toolkit for us. Given that it's the only one still functioning, I'm gonna have to take the vagabond. So I think Ramesses is gonna have to take a bit of a break right now. Keep some fuel with us and let's get going, shall we? I'm gonna stop in by the loners and the varmint scouts in the hopes to buy some goodies. And then we are definitely checking out that scrapyard. But you got four hearts awake and at oh, oh. That's what I get for reading chat. Move! Like. Wait, you got four hearts awake and another dozen asleep? There's difficulty something else. Yeah, the mod adds a lot more hearts. I'm not buying the argument that's made them tougher, though. Oh, that was rough. That hurts maximum health, maximum stamina, and regular health. How do you feel? Let me check you from here, Von Dougals. Uh, he wasn't hurt too bad. You guys wouldn't have to have a bandage on you, would you? Actually, you do. Uh, and you've got fuel and building materials. I like all of this. Give me the building materials. Give me the fuel. Give me one bandage. I love 762 rounds, but they're expensive. Hmm. Very expensive. Perhaps even too expensive. I'll leave them for now. I will regret that. I already regret that. Give me those bullets. What's going on, hun? Shall we do some business? Of course. Kind of tempted to buy this just for the bullets. Maybe I can. What if I buy the gun, unload it for the bullets, and sell it back to you? Now, there you go. I'm not sure if that was worth it. What did I get? Five bullets for 33 influence. I don't know how that compares. And I'm out. Here we go. Bandage up that smoke inhalation. Be nice to test out how silent this gun is. 
Well, that wasn't very silent. Everything around us just heard that. Von Dougals, get to work. You might think, whoa, Von Dougals is very quiet. AIs have massively reduced sound out of their guns. We learned something. Oh god, they're still coming. AI survivors are much better with automatic weapons in their hands than single fires. I've had nothing but AKs, I would dish out nothing but AKs. Right, sorry I mistreated you there, Vagabond. Since we're so close to home, we'd be as well just depositing the... Oops. I'm depositing the materials. Just that smoldering of the uh, of the car. You know, I, I have an idea. I think I'm going to put a crappy brake on your gun. Not a brake, a silencer, because it was still rather loud, worryingly loud even. There we go, I've got a handmade suppressor, and if I give it to you, I can attach it to your gun, and I'm pretty sure AI weapons don't take damage, so you can put whatever trappy suppressor or brake you want on them. Normally I would use brakes, but here I'll use suppressor. Right back at it. 1.2 kilometers to destination. Rough. But hey, notice that the amount of freak on our hands. infestations pouring out has vastly reduced. Tearing down these hearts really seems to help us out a lot, so I will be fast-tracking, clearing out the other awake hearts. Might give me an easier time. And I want to get another Heart survivor coming. so we can locate over to the... No! Crap. <laughs> I didn't want her to run in front of us. Also, I forgot to stop in by the survivors and get the maybe toolkit. I miss having a door. I, I hope they do have a toolkit so I can repair my door. Again, and I never do this often enough, park with the front of your car facing something so that they don't jump on your car the moment you try and move. There we go, splendid. Hey stranger. Hello Meridian. To make a deal here. You not? have food and very noticeably no toolkits whatsoever. Uh, well I that isn't good. <laughs> How disrespectful of you. Stock things I need, please. We have not been down here at all. One of my favourite bases is right here, the Whitney Field. One of the things I really love about it is that it can summon sieges. I don't know if it still does that with the new uh, siege layout, but we will be getting there eventually. That's going to be our end game base. Wandering around in plague territory might be a bad idea. Yeah, well not for these four juggernauts. We have not yet killed one juggernaut. All we've done is watch a juggernaut rip Katie in half. Very memorable though, it's a great attack. When I first played the game, I picked it up in my own time and played through a quick round on... I don't know what difficulty, probably the standard one. Um... It, it was pretty easy, but towards the end I got too cocky, and during a siege I just watched my fellows attack. And one of them got down next to a juggernaut and just torn in half. I watched it happen, and it was... Uh, that memory was probably going to stay with me for a long time. Can we cross this river? I think we have to take the bridge. I don't want my vehicle to break down. It's bad enough that we'd be stranded a long way from our base, 
but stranded with a fellow survivor is worse than being alone because it's very difficult to stealth with an AI follower burning through this fuel. I wish I could turn off the banner at the top that says where you're entering. It's meaningless. Nobody remembers these names and it's not important where you are. But hey, I'd sure love to mod that out. Right, he did say ahead of time that it's infested with zombies, so let's very cleverly clear out the area around it. Is everyone at the base healing up that needs to? Yeah, Darko's healing up nicely. Good. A hey, deadhead. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Did we get that powerhouse attack there? Hmm. It actually allows you to counter plague ferals. The drop kit stuns them and you can follow up with a uh, an instant kill I got a silent but well it, it's quiet it's not silent but maybe we can get lucky and just take the rear entrance without any zombie noticing us and since I'm Are since I got you finished? with me Is that it? oh dear hmm. no more zombies here Back door is shut. What, why did he? Why is he running on in? Also, how did he open that door? Why is he not following me? Why is he making tons of noise? I'm a little worried about this. Hey, isn't this true? Check this out. Wow. Well, he is shooting, which is good. Can you hold on to this, please? Oh dear lord, there's a lot of zombies there. Alright, you know what? That helped, but it also is going to wake up a plague heart. Yeah, there we go. I got another plague heart to deal with. Nice. Oh, oh me. I saw that coming and I didn't deal with it because I got greedy for that. Um, got greedy for that toolbox. All right, where's the bloater? We need to offload this into the car, you know that. God, there's a lot of Don't enter the cloud, you fool! Jesus, right. Can't jump over that. Mm. Maybe the cloud is dispersed. Watch yourself. God, it's just worse out here. Let's take the route around, dump the stuff in the car. And I hate to say it, but we're coming back for more. This is kind of like a... Um... Get down. It's kind of like a payday mission where you, you make it out, but you, you got to go back in for even more fat loot. I hope you're alright out there, Von Dougals. I'm... I'm... Kind of counting on you for a bunch of things. Uh oh, uh oh. Can you wait up a bit? No, I can't. I have to hold on to some of this. Um, are you alright over there? I don't think he's alright. He's making a lot of screaming noises and shooting noises. 
Oh well, they're doing all right, I'm sure. Oh God, that's a lot of them. All right, well, repaired the vehicle. Dude, I, I can't help you. He's just gonna have to look after himself. More. Any more for any more? No. Nope. No? Alright, we've cleaned the place out. Now let's get back. Von Dougals, are you sure you're okay out there? Right, screw Vaughn. Actually, I'm going to put out his fireworks. That'll distract the zombies a bit. Oh no. The front defense. Oh, it actually worked. That's good. There we go. Right, Von Dougals, you're going to find your own way home. Actually, is he sick? Von Dougals is plagued fully. I actually need to go and save him. I had a plague bloater on the way back. He's probably going to die. Are you going to get in the car this time? Okay, good. I don't know why he suddenly stopped following me, but it could prove fatal for him. Even so, I mean, even if Von Doodles dies, which would be a tragedy, uh, three bags of building materials is pretty great. But I do want to save his life, so let's get out of here. Not, a, not even a kilometer from home, just hold tight, buddy. Oh, bollocks! <laughs> Yeah, the further the further in you explore, the more and more plague hearts you keep waking up, it seems. These infestations are something else. I wonder if we can unclog our toilet. I can't really afford to make any diversions. We've got to get you home and get you safe. Fortunately, there's not a lot of plague floaters, because running into one of those does plague damage as well. Well, as well as regular damage, actually. Light hours already over. Right. Pause it. Pause it. Our community will flourish if we keep making smart choices like this. Yeah, I think so. I had a hunch that plan would work. Oh, Yvonne Dougals, get yourself checked in. There we go. I'll deal with you shortly. Uh, Darko's only a little bit nibbled. That's okay. Nice to see you're up this early. The AC broke today. It was hot last night. I barely slept. Always have backup AC. Being cool is just that important. Well, I think it is. Right. This plague is real bad news. We've got to get on top of it. I'm still holding up. Yes, you are. Now let's get you We're gonna cured. Save you, okay? Here. To be fair, it was Von Dougal's idea to find that place that had three sacks of materials in it, so I'm happy enough with them. But without flowing water, we can't upgrade our toilet. It's okay, we'll put the materials to good use once we move. And we are not over capacity on materials. That's a good amount, though. It's a shame that we constantly use it. Uh, Dougal's. Now we're over capacity on them. But this stuff I'll store in our uh, our dying car. Right, time for another plague heart run, and I think Chunky Man in white suit is going to take care of that. I don't mind storing up these materials; we'll take them with us to the new base, Why and we will be going. Why are the getting scarier? Why is there a juggernaut nearby? Okay, maybe there isn't. They really let up on the attacks, though. But Ugh. oh, damn. That play cart also blocks our move to the Brewing Company. So does not having enough survivors, but I do want to make that move. It's very important to me. 
Mm-hmm. Probably do something about that equipment shed. Right. I love this gun, but eventually I'll run out of ammo for it. Bumbling bell. It's not difficult. Just slot. There we go. And we'll give you extra carry capacity. And what weapon should Bell have at this point? Suppressed Bolt Scout. Right, Darko. I really want Darko's outpost limit bonus. It's very powerful. I'm gonna rest off a bit. So, didn't we already get you Powerhouse? We did. You can do the big swings. Mm hmm. Which play cart are we gonna pop? Also, if my landmines ran out. No, it's still half an hour on those landmines. I think I didn't put them to, big, uh, to good enough use. But where do we annihilate? So many sleepy play carts. <laughs> All the hearts there are. It's going to be a bit of an operation to take them down, but we'll get them taken down. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, Professor Layton's got some kind of 2 2 mission. I wouldn't mind knowing what that's all about. Do I have to take control of him? He wants the rifle. What is a true gent? Oh, right, he just needs to go and kill some zombies with this. Specifically with the prepper rifle. That's not too bad, except it's night time. Hey, uh, are you guys willing to meet up? I think we can do each other some good. You are miles away, man. Why would I go and help you? What's with all the, uh, the other things up here? Oh, it's a mysterious wandering trader. Nothing to worry about. So it looks like a true gentleman always stays on top of his gunplay. The suppressor does increase the amount of damage that the gun takes, and there is weapon durability in the game. But it seems like even a gentleman needs to blow some steam sometimes. This is Professor Layton's newest puzzle. You have 15 targets to shoot with this weapon. How do you take them out? I have 15 matchsticks. And one more for good luck. Weird mission. Very weird. But it's not the weirdest. One of the weirdest missions I've seen is just somebody uh, gets a muscle car, fixes it up, and drives over zombies whilst cackling like a maniac. I think someone's had some good fun putting that I'm mission together. A lot of happy faces around here lately. Von Dougal's is starting a fight, probably because the toilet's clogged again. Get to unclogging it, please. And our true gentleman doesn't have a backpack on. Right, dark whip. Let's go. I think I left Professor Layton with the 2-2 rifle, which I didn't intend to do. I want him to get his AR-15 back. Hello, my friend. You're much happier with that. Mm-hmm. What to do, what to do. We really need to knock out these play carts. There is something to be said for that survivor activity. I don't know what it's about. But I could just ignore it. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Clearing out this area in general would be a bit nice, especially the strip mall area. We could use our fat man powers to tear apart this uh, play cart, because they seem to go down very quickly to the, to the mallet. But 
I really want to move, so I actually think I'm going to take out these two plague hearts. Well, this one in particular. One of the problems is there's nowhere really to run. I guess there's the brain retainers. If things go south for Draco. Hmm. Maybe you shouldn't carry that custom on you. Maybe you shouldn't carry the prepper on you. Ah, oh, but I love the prepper rifle. Molotovs. I, I'm almost out of energy drinks, which is terrifying. I guess you can take the stimulants instead. Take uh, take two stimulants, even though I hate using those. God, I don't have much in the way of fire either, do I? Take the fuel bomb. And of course, most importantly, take the beetle mallet. Which I would love to repair, but you need a workshop to repair weapons. And I can't afford to have this one break on me. And there's nothing I would be happy to replace with a workshop. This is the only thing keeping our morale positive, otherwise everyone's just constantly unhappy. This is vital for curing people, especially from Blood Plague. And I really just like having the ability to shoot zombies before they're inside our base. Also, look at that 30 meter safe zone radius. I didn't notice it at first, but yeah, our, our radius has increased, doesn't it? And actually, hasn't the safe zone of the corn farm increased? I think it has. Yeah, see, it's plus 15 meters from the upgrade. And we could upgrade it further if we knew how to garden. We don't, but if we did... Plus six food per day out of that would be huge. Does anyone claim to know gardening? No, Geek Trivia and Law, both useless. Von Dougals, you should learn how to do... Close combat? Nah, we'll have you sword play. Maybe someday we'll have you dashing around with a sword. Although I kind of wish I'd given Leighton that. Yeah, Leighton should be the one with sword play. Now we can do both, if he has sword play. A lot of malleability. Do I have any books on gardening? Only a book on cooking, and cooking is not a particularly useful skill. Right then, we're heading out for a plague heart. We've got our mallet, molotov, stimulants, fuel bomb, and although I'm loath to take it, a first aid kit that saved Boomer, it might just save Darko. Our poor smoldering cars can be heard here. No, don't hit the car. Open the trunk. Nothing in there. Nothing of overwhelming value in there. And I... I always like to travel around if I can with a toolkit and a gas can. There's no toolkit, so we can take a gas can. And we are going to stop in by the transplants. Wait, wait, wait. I want to sell what I can to the transplants first. I don't have an energy drink, Asmaroth. Normally you're drowning in them. They're not particularly... Well, I have one, but one isn't worth it. Two at least. I don't have anything to sell, actually. That is sad. Oh well. I hope said it wouldn't be sad. Also, it's night time. Even more zombies spawn at night time. Right. To the survivors, and then to the plague heart. And bear in mind there's another plague heart that I have still to pop open. All these nice corpses lying around. Reminds me of playing Bannerlord. Now those are some good times, but it's a very difficult game to keep playing, because once you've learned how to play it, the game really has no challenge to offer. I'd like to find some way to play it again and make it challenging, but nothing's coming to mind. I have racked my brain on it. The idea was to play a... Uh, oh, oh, you want to get me? Ah, oh, spoil sport. The idea was to play a looters only run, but the game doesn't really have any gameplay for looting. What up? Sometimes Banner Lord doesn't feel that feature complete. Let's talk turkey. Cool. Sounds good. Sweet, a toolkit, just what I needed. The rest of your stuff... Uh, ooh, metal bat is actually really good. In fact, you can make more out of just salvaging a, me uh, a metal bat, so I will take that. 
I am right next to my uh, my base, so I'll just pop back and uh, deposit these items. If I get the hero bonus off of Darko, though, that plus one outpost is really useful. To the point where Darko would become one of my most valuable individuals and I wouldn't want him to die. There are some hero bonuses that are just above and beyond. And I would say it's... If you're under a severe th uh, threat of invasions, it would be the quietness, the ones that lower the sound of your base. The ones that give plus two labor. There's one that gives plus one, but an even better one gives plus two. Scrum certification and outpost limit. Mm. We got a zombie mess we need you to clean up for us. Oh, well, I happen to be heading over that way anyway, so I guess that's good. I got nothing better to do. <laughs> nothing better. Gracias, amigo. I could bring one of these guys with me again and get them killed again, but I'd rather leave this place to actually be able to defend itself as well. Alright, let's a go go. Also, I should make a point to put a pin in that. You really should get the brewery. I'm working on it, but I need to take out the nearby hearts first. And I need to recruit one more survivor, which means I need more tell if those are corpses or a bloater. I need more influence. I've set myself a 1,000 influence cost for recruiting survivors. Oh, there is not a good place to leave this car, is there? It's all just open, open, open here. I guess I will leave it here. Zombies coming in already. That's a full horde. Oh well. Chug your stimulants and get to work, big guy. It's already doing its big counter attack. That's a shame. I shouldn't have stimulated so fast, should I? But whilst it's doing that, I can do this. What the hell just tackled me? Oh god. I believe. I believe that was a feral. Was it a feral? I think I see a feral coming after me, but it's hard to tell. Really hard to tell. Without a doubt, something tackled me. But I don't see a feral. Oh god, I don't know what to- Oh, there's a feral, friend! Get down. Oh boy, this is risky with all this going on. That's not a good angle. There we go. Come one, come all. There we go. Get out of here. Whew. Killing this heart awoke another heart. Come on, game. Have mercy. It awoke that heart, didn't it? Whew. When do you plan on testing gun damage on hearts? Uh, Voomer's the one with the gun that I'd want to use for that. But right now, this beetle mallet is really doing its work. Yeah, so I, I think I need to just touch them, then they do their counterattack, and then I retreat, and then I take my stimulants. Also, it calls it stimulants. What do you think's really in it? Am I am I a Finnish soldier? Ooh, nice backpack. Ooh, replacement stimulants. Professional break on a gun. A mace! Ooh, yeah, oh god, I want that. Uh, I also want to eat those painkillers. Uh, could I take that, drop that, take that, just to get rid of this? I'll put a can in the car and then I'm out of here. Oh, 
Remember, you haven't finished looting the previous site. That's okay. That loot will be there forever. Is there a window there? Is there a window there? Nope, there's not. Oh, but there are there are zombies out there. And the infesting horde is right here. I don't know if I want to kill it. Apparently there's a... Oh, there, there you are. There we go. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, God, you weren't here before. Oh, you weren't here before. I'm stuck. Stuck in bloater bile. The worst. Hopefully it doesn't infect the car. All right, tons of fun. Do you think you can... Oh, man, I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to take out the heart with you being so damaged. Another infestation? Or <laughs> they really do just keep crapping them out at a bizarre rate. I think the silence on this gun is working dividends. I expected a lot more attention. Come with me if you're not afraid of a little trouble. Scavenge, I need some help clearing it, I, I guess. You're on point. And let's make sure we stay safe. I'd hate to see you harmed in any way. Oh, it's a million miles away. <laughs> Uh, at least he sounds like he cares about us. Let's talk turkey. Okay. I'll get rid of this rusty screwdriver and nothing else. Mm, fuel stacks, you're heavy. And I do probably want those stimulants on me if things get hairy. I wish I had something to heal with, though. Right. You think we can go across the water? Looks navigable, especially for our all-terrain vehicle, the bug-out vehicle. Let's okay, make it a long way around and taking the bridge. But it's also risky. You can sometimes have bloaters just lying down in the crevices, and you run into one, and that that's just such a plan changer. You just need to immediately get out your car. But it's not that simple. It's faster, although it hurts a bit, to get out of your car when it's moving at speed. And that you want to do that if you're covered in bloater bile. But the worst thing is, you get covered in bloater bile, you ram into something, and then you have to slowly get out of your car, and all the while you're just taking more and more bloater damage. Right, what do we do in here, champ? There are a lot of plague hearts. And there are zombies already making noise. And I am injured. About fucking time. Get off my new friend. Do you have a gun? Anyone see a gun on Matthew? He's carrying what looks like a big stick. I'm sure he's got a gun. I would not be doing this as light cheesy. I'm a million miles from home. I've got some inventory space, but... I hope this is the place we actually have to clear out. does it. There you go, it's all yours. <laughs> you do whatever the hell you want with this place. It is not my problem. It was empty when I left. Oh. oh uh. Mmm. Let's, let's not use negative language like if I get plagued. I gotta steer clear of those plague zombies or I won't get right, change of plan. Just get the hell out of here, fat man. Get off of me. 
You too. Is my car clear? It's clear enough. Is that a bloater? Stay away from my car. I need to move before he pops. He's gonna bloat my car. Go long, suckers. I am already gone. I don't know what that weirdo wanted with that building, but I did my part. Although I think I left it more uh, full of trouble than we found it. I'm going to take a shortcut back again. I think the implication was he wanted to scavenge the place, sure. And he needed my help to clear it. On the easier difficulty settings, it's set. They spawn like three or four zombies around you and that's it. These, uh, these missions make a lot more sense. On lethal, and particularly modded lethal, it's just... You just think, what are these suicidal morons thinking? Speaking of suicidal and what are we thinking, uh... Did we get the hero? We must have gotten the hero standing for Darko. Darko is long due putting his feet up, so let's just get home. Let you rest your poor, definitely overstressed feet. Get you a bag of crisps or something back home. Strangely enough, though, th those guys didn't ally me, which makes me almost certain that they are one of the weird, quirky survivor groups. And my money is still on the cannibals. But their mission usually involves stuff like, hey, uh, we need uh, we need some butcher knives, and we need you to, I think, like dismember some zombies for us. Then I don't remember them all. Uh, Twain obviously was not watching me when he when he was reminiscing about that. Hello, dying car. I do actually have a backup toolkit for you, but that's what it's exactly going to be, a backup. I did fine one, right? Yeah, there we go. That is such a nice mod on that gun. I'm going to take it off. Can we take it off again? Uh, maybe I can't do it in this. Anyway, the rest of this can get stored, especially you. Speed detach mod, there we go. Yeah, professional is the best form of brakes and suppressors. And that is some powerful stuff. That's a powerful gun, even. Take one of you, keep you refueled. And we are looking pretty good. 2000 influence. Dismembering zombies is for the one that lets uh, one that keeps them as cattle. I thought those were the cannibals, but maybe it's just the freaks. There is a freaky bunch. All right, you done good. you done good, Darko. Although you took some serious damage out there. Drop that off. Give yourself a more modest backpack. And you apparently like your SP5K, so you can have that. I might just be making that up for you. And you take a much-needed break. Alright, finally I don't feel like I'm being hounded all the time for everything. I want that bonus out of Bellcat. Bellcat's still a bit mangled though. Earl Von Boomer is not. You're in fact cheerful. Is that because the toilet's unclogged? It's probably because the toilet is unclogged. Alright, glorious. Maybe I'll finally able to check how good this gun does on a play cart. God, it just looks like clown puke at this point. Oh, oh, there you go. Heading to an existing infestation. So you're going to level up the infestations around us. Three, two, three, two. Really pretty rough. And yeah, the chaining of the hearts. Oh god, both of these woke up. But this is the only heart blocking the brewing company. So we do that, we get an extra survivor, and we can have it. And that is what we will do on the next show of this show turn whatever we call it 
Uh, I'm going to call it there because I need quite a bit of time to set up the weekly one-shot for tomorrow.